Okay, so anyways. It's been like two months, but I'm back into streaming. Um, a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> I was expecting to be out for like a week, because I was getting my teeth extracted. Um, I got three teeth extracted, because um, I'm awful at dentist stuff. Um, <laughs> but then I got the flu immediately. So I was out for another like week and a half. And then my work schedule changed, so I had to get <laughs> used to that. <laughs> and now finally... Everything's all right. <laughs> Things um, have, have finally gotten to a point where it's like, yeah, I can stream now. And then without without coughing, effing wildly. Yeah, that that flu, I was coughing for this stupid thing. I was coughing for like for like two straight weeks after I was done with the flu. Yeah, it was uh, it was a time for you. Uh, hey, Chloe, I know that there hasn't been much yet, but does uh, the game audio seem alright? What class do I play? Oh, yeah, Dragoon. <laughs> I would say that. Let's see, I, I was going to say, I, we're going to see if you remember if you that you wanted to play Dragoon for Heaven's Word and then switch to, to Samurai for Stormblood and then go from there. I think, regardless of whatever I want to do, I'm not going to do it, not specifically on purpose, but just because I'm forgetful. I feel that. I cannot say I blame you. So my character may uh may look a little different when you uh when you see her again. Did you use a Fantasia potion? Uh, I asked Sarah, and I could, and I told her, "Hey, convince me not to turn into the character that you're going to see." And she told me, "You're telling me you're you're asking me to not tell to to not to have your character be this, but you know that is my weakness." Mm -hmm. like, yes. Speaking of, I should mention to her that I'm continuing on. Hmm. So, uh, I, uh, look a little different than, uh, than how I did before. Okay. Informed. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Huh, you're tall. <laughs> Indeed. You're really tall. Max height ear, max height ears. <laughs> I mean... Oh, that's not wrong. She did get no. a haircut. <laughs> this is true. Where did I get Bearer of the Torch from? That's a cool title. I don't remember. I, I had to have gotten that from like the end of ARR, right? Uh, let's find out. Yep, that's from the from getting through ARR. I also love how I'm allowed to be here. What? Nobody's gonna stop you. You think I mean, th this you? is still in Thanalan. Yeah, but it's also run by, like, the most powerful, the, the literal most powerful being, being in all of Eorzea. Not even really joking That's at this awesome. point. Come on, get one jackpot. I can do it. I believe... At least so far, I haven't even had a chance to. Uh, you know, small victories. Um. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I did not have a chance to. Unfortunate. Okay. Um. Okay, so. My stuff works. I might miss press buttons because I got a new mouse and the, uh. Uh, the number pad on the side does, like, this weird thing where, like, like, it, like, arches up and down as it goes across the buttons. Which I think mm. is supposed to make them easier to press the right ones, but I was so used to just a flat number pad that it's weird. Makes sense to me. Okay, um. See, can't eliminate. I, I still have the, the, the ninja mission. 
Um, the what mission? The mission for the for the ninja quest line. Oh. It's the level 45 ninja. <laughs> yup. Yes, you do. Uh, how do I... It's been so long since I played this goddamn game. Um, where is the... Ah, coming dish guard. It's this one at the top. Yep. Uh, before you do that one, though, you may notice you have a new little exclamation mark underneath it. Sky's the limit. Since you are now in Heavensward, since you now have Heavensward active, uh, you you have the Heavensward job quests available. Oh, I can be an astrologer. Uh, this is specifically for Dragoon. I can be an I can be an astronaut. Yes, technically. Uh, I'm assuming I should do that first. Uh, you should because what's the last thing I did? Kick the shit out of Astinian. Uh, yeah, you kick the shit out of Estinian and basically prove that you are, that both of you are worthy to be, uh, the Azure Dragoon. See, like, it's been a while since I played this game. It's been, like, an actual year since I did the Dragoon quest line. Uh, something like that, yeah. It, it's been a minute for you. Hotkeys do, in fact, work. I'm so happy I didn't need to reset all of them, because I've had to do that once and it took me, like, an hour. <laughs> yeah, that that does sound like that would have just been a pain to deal with. Hey, I completed a fate. I'm so good at this game. Yay! Okay, let me let me blow this ice break for a second. Okay, it's it, it's Tilda that looks on. Okay, and then if I want to do that, I hit it. I do that, and... Oh, right, Dragoon's the really easy one where I just press 1, 2, 3. Yep, you do, you do your utility 1, 2, 3 to get your damage buff and your and inflict your dot, and then you just do your damage 1, 2, 3. I, I press 1, and then the two things lit up, and I immediately felt the Dragoon rush into my veins. <laughs> You felt the you felt the dragon immediately return to your to your soul. No, the dragon specifically. I don't like the dragons. Remember? Oh, true. You're right. You're right. Uh, Sir Alberic is mustering reinforcements in a battle. Listen, I'm pleased to see that you're control in control of the dragon within. Nonetheless, I must uh, remind you to remain vigilant at all times. It takes but a moment of weakness for the eye to make you its thrall. Uh, now forgive me this abrupt change in subject, but we have urgent need of your lance. Some days ago, a horde of dragons began wreaking bloody havoc within Ishgardian territory. Um, an elite regiment of dragoons has been dispatched to deal with this threat. Alas, though they fight bravely, they, uh, they are sorely outnumbered and are struggling to gain the upper hand. Indeed, but moments before you arrived, we received a request for reinforcements from a unit engaged in battle north and west of Whitebrim. My fellow dragoon and I will go to their aid. We should be grateful for your presence. Pray go on ahead and f uh, we shall follow Anon. Why do they say Anon like that? Tell you. Because that doesn't mean what it means now. Nope. Like, we shall fall. Because I feel like they've used it in different contexts that I can't quite suss out the meaning of it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. I am looking forward to getting into Stormblood where they start using Old English words a little more appropriately. <laughs> Alright, let me... Okay, if I... Let me watch and see if the game makes a sound in my recording. Oh, yep, that picked up. Okay. What happened? Uh, I was checking uh, to make sure the sound uh, was coming through on my, uh, on my uh, waveforms. Ah. Which I was pretty sure it was, but... More also, how they say like north and west instead of northwest. Yeah, they uh, Stormblood onward. They really focus. They they really like. I guess simplify it is the best way for me to put it. They really just make it easy to be like, yeah, this is just what what they mean. And with this. Well, Chloe, how can you be sure that they're sound? It's not like you're listening. Hmm. <laughs> Uh... 
Wow, the, that's a... Should I be here? Probably. Ah. Oh, whoops, I already had the thing. Oh, well. Oh, wait, that's the... Okay, I need to remember what does what. Mm -hmm. And also that your lance charge is a is a 20% damage buff on itself. Lance charge? Oh, that one? Okay. Yeah, the one that just got the blood splotches on it. Wait, oh, that was the wrong button. Alright, now I'm home. Hello, Wounded Dragoon. My chair. Start thing. Also, open my Jago Monster. I'm going to really what? like these. Uh, Java Monster. Oh. It's Monster Energy Coffee. Said, uh, yeah. I got the Nitro Cold Brew Latte. I really like them, actually, and I'm surprised about that, because I generally don't like energy drinks. That, yeah, I was going to say, that... That's surprising to me, A, because that just does not sound appealing to me. It's It but... just tastes like a carbonated latte, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but I like it. That is kind of weird. I owe you my life. That beast would have torn me limb from limb. Wait, is it an energy drink or coffee? It's, it's, a, it's an energy drink coffee. It's both. Uh, our lances were not needed, uh, to it seem, such as the might of the Azure Dragoon. Uh, you have not, uh, pledged allegiance, allegiance, uh, to Ishgard, yet you came to our aid, uh, nonetheless. For that we are grateful. Their deaths thus avenged, our comrades may go to their rest in peace. My lady, I shall attend to the fallen. Why does a coffee energy drink scare you? Probably just because of the amount of caffeine and potential sugar that can be in there. I, it has, like, half a daily dose of caffeine. It's fine. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tis an honor to see you again, my friend. Though it appears I am not remembered, uh, I suspect the armor is to blame. Uh, permit me to introduce myself anew. I am... Uh, 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 Houston? I'm gonna go with Houston. I could not tell you how I am Houston of the Order of the Knight's Dragoon, and I had the pleasure of assisting you in, tra in your training. As we approached, uh... Uh, Sir Arbrook and I bore witness the final moments of the battle. I could not help but notice that, though you had been instructed on our ways, there was something distinct about the manner in which you fought. I believe I know the reason why. As an adventurer, you have done battle with foes the realm over. Through those many encounters, your techniques have evolved to produce a style that sets you apart from those who fight dragons exclusively. That is how fighting works. Indeed. Uh, such insights you must possess. If I may speak frankly, I wish to train under you. Will you accept me as your pupil? Hmm. You see, a fearsome dragon has been Wait. terrorizing Corthus as of late. Uh, Lady, she just got back from like from like a several month long break, like, let alone a year break from being a dragoon. What makes you think she's good enough to do this right now? <laughs> Growly. <laughs> Every time she says a name, I just pause for like a minute to try to sound it out, and she still wants me to train her. She's pretty awesome. She's great. <laughs> Growly is its name. Growly is its name, and, and I've been charged with leading a mission to slay it. Though I am second in command in the order, I'm not confident in my chances against the creature. Such, such is its fe fe ferocity and cunning. Uh, if I'm to try up over Growly, I must needs grow stronger, and I believe I can under your tutelage. What say you? Will you con will you consent to training me? Okay, so is is th this the uh, the ten levels uh, of Heaven's Word quests for this is Dragon? the story. Like, is this storyline like th th the Heaven's Word? Dragoon yes. class storyline. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. You'll get you'll you'll get one. Oh, I forget if it's every five levels or if it's you'll get one at here, 53, 55, 58, and then 60. Hmm. Okay. I think I think it's the second one I sent. I think it I think it's the the now 53, 55, 58, and 60. In that case, I'm already ready for the next one, I think. I think I'm 54. You you are, in fact, ready for the next one, but the next one will require you to go to ish to new areas. Well, good thing that I am actually playing the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you wouldn't I, you wouldn't be able to even get this one if you hadn't done <clears throat> hadn't done Realm Reborn yet. Well, nah. I need to be actually. I don't know why exactly I need to do Realm Reborn to do this, but sure. Uh, literally just story progression. Yeah. It's okay. You're in Heaven's Word now. Now go go. We're gonna give you. Oh, a I guess. Fight. I guess the start of Heaven's Word is like, hey, the dragons are starting to get all like wily. So like, mm -hmm. th this does make sense that this happens at the start of Heaven's Word. Fine, okay, mm -hmm. game, I'll give it to you. <laughs> As we teach, so too do we learn, and I know this from or, uh, this I know from experience. I wholeheartedly urge you to accept Hust Hustian as your pupil. You need not give me an answer right this moment. Think on it, and let Sir Albert know your decision. Till next we meet. I mean, I'll do it, sure. Why not? Yeah, why the heck not? God, these poor guys. <laughs> hmm? Just the dead dragoons laying in the snow. Oh yeah, the poor bastards. The very, very, very dead bastards. <laughs> They'll be fine. Yeah, sure. Uh, fine, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. Part of the Dragoon training is is learning how to live without blood in your body. Look, look, final look. The, the 14 community has one joke, and it's that uh, the Dragoons will always end up dead at some point, in time or another, during or in a fight. So they're just getting ready for their training for that part. That's a mountain. Hmm? There's a mountain in my way. Indeed. Uh, blow up the mountain. I think you overestimate my skills. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I think what I'm overestimating is the amount of dynamite you have. Okay, I have a question in, like, terms of, like, so you know I hate level scaling, or, like, like, just, like, like, I guess power level, like, scaling. Yeah. Um, what kind of power level does, like, <laughs> does the Warrior of Light get to? Um... Like, can they, like, blow up so an island, was... or...? So there was a... a... while ago. I don't know who got it, but somebody got a commission from the guy who does the music for... Um... Death Battle stuff. To do a... Uh... A Destiny character versus... Like, like a Destiny PC versus uh, the Warrior of Light. In this game. And if I remember correctly... It's actually, like, like, thematically, A, it works really well, but B, it's still kind of a stomp, but it's not as much of a stomp as you might think. I don't <laughs> know I who would stomp who. I don't know shit about uh, what, what the, the Destiny the, the protagonist Destiny, can do. As I understand it, the Destiny character absolutely fucking crushes the Warrior of Light because they actually get, like, the ability to manipulate black holes and shit. We can't do that. <laughs> See, here's but, the thing. This is part of why I hate scaling anytime anybody says anything about a black hole in fiction it's not what a fucking black hole does <laughs> that's not what a black hole is but they treat it like it is a black hole looks at wealth and star rail looks right. <laughs> looks at gardevoir it's, it's just like hey gardevoir can yeah. make a black hole it's like no it can't it makes something that looks like a black hole but it's not a black hole i, I was gonna say I, I don't know why i get like so so up in arms about this but it's just like people don't know what words mean a lot of the time you know, I mean, they don't. You're yeah. right. I'm not going to even pretend otherwise. Right there. Uh, so anyways, before I get into this, what is the most imp uh, what is the most impressive thing that the Warrior of Light can do? Literally cannot say because it is pretty much a major and walker spoiler. Just like in terms of like, can they destroy uh, an island? Can they destroy a city? A city block? A, a, can they step on a uh... worm? <laughs> They can 1v an army and have canonically been proven that they are the only that, like, when they go up against you know us fighting all the primals, yeah, technically, we do all that on our own until some until a plot thing happens later on. Interesting, okay. So, like, for whatever that's worth, we can take on various gods of different strengths, um, you know, on our own. <laughs> You know the fate scalings, how it's like anti-personnel, anti-army? Yeah. Somehow, despite how useless those are as well, I feel like those are 
more helpful than most other power scalings. Uh, I guess, like, the best way to put it is that the Warrior of Light would be, would have a very, very good, I almost want to say anti... I'm gonna say anti-army. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, in terms of their power. Have you made your decision, then? Uh, we agree to teach Houston. It's gonna take me a few tries to remember that. I'm grateful. Well, I swear like, I will not disappoint you. With your guidance, I shall put an end to Growly's reign of terror. Well, it's like, uh, how did we decide to say the, the leader of, uh, of Linsa's name? Merlvib? Yeah, Melvib. Uh, because that's, that's actually pronounced at one point. <laughs> Is it actually? I, I, I am, I, I think I have convinced myself at some point that they just did not say her name. No, they said they it. they didn't know how to say it. They said it at least twice. Um, and okay. it is Meryl Vib. Got it. Because W's or V's in whatever language that is. I forget what it is. Welsh? I almost... I'd say it's probably Welsh. I think it might be Welsh. I don't know. Because Welsh is a fucking... It's a weird fucking language if Arthurian legend names are anything to go by. Welshavad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. I like Welshavad. Look, it's great, but also... Uh... <laughs> Now, I should like nothing more than to begin my training at once, but duty calls. Uh, for the time being, I shall endeavor to emulate the deadly lance work I witnessed you employing earlier. Uh, Houston is among our very best in recent uh, generations. If you are to train her, or if you are to train one of her caliber, you yourself must rise to new heights of mastery. Resume your own training and return hither when you are satisfied with your progress. Okay. Oh, does Heavensward have a new quest complete jingle? It does. It also has a new quest accept jingle oh. that I think we were talking over. Next Dragoon quest will be available from Albrecht upon reaching level 52. What the, okay, I guess it is every... Okay, so I guess the 358 is Stormblood. Huh, interesting. Hi, Albrecht. Ooh, Battle Litany. That's, a That's fun one. just a party buff. Interesting. It's a, it is a party critical rate buff, which is uh, really good. It's a dot, in fact. It is, in fact, a damage <laughs> over time effect. <laughs> Listen, if you think about it, if you think about it, all the, all the all the normal attacks are just dots. They're just a a very specific amount of damage in a single moment. It is yep. damage over a span of time. Yep, we've had this conversation before. <laughs> You're the one who introduced me to this conversation. I hate you for it. I, I am the one who introduced you to that chart meme. <laughs> that chart. I didn't thing expect ever. it to to become it, its own topic of conversation. <laughs> Greetings, Lucy. You look very much a teacher today. That is well. For Houston is eager for her first lesson. Now that you agreed to accept her as your pupil, I suspect you are not without reservation. Uh, you sh uh, are you worried whether you will be equal to the task? Well, worry not. I have every confidence that you will make a fine mentor. Where I'd offer you advice, however, it would uh, it would be to have patience. Though Houston is a master of her art, um, it is all she has ever known. As such, it may prove a challenge for her to adapt. And like all of us, she is not without pride. There will be times when tact is required. Uh, I must also mention that Houston is zealous to a fault. I worry that she will overexert herself in pursuit of strength. Uh, but I am keeping you from your lesson. Houston left word she would be in the Western Highlands, testing her lance against Dragonspawn. Seek her out near the pike. And that is one of the first Heavensward areas you will go to. That's, uh, I'll be honest, that quest accepted thingy is, uh, it, it's, it, it's surprised me every time I've heard it now. <laughs> you'll get used to it. Um, where's the... And then you'll probably be surprised by the Stormblood one when it happens. Days of Azura. I'll probably be continually surprised by them until we get, uh, until we get to Dawn Trail, and then I'll actually hear the ones from Dawn Trail for long enough we'll get used to them. Mm -hmm. Uh, going to coming to Ishgard. Oh, it's right Indeed. there. Oh, it's in that little war room. Yeah, it's in the falling snows. There are so many. There are so many quests here. <laughs> where's Where's my juice? Burn before hmm. reading. What? Hey, should I do Why all of these? <laughs> 
Uh, maybe not on stream, but... I apparently never talked to anybody in Camp Dragonhead. I mean, I'll be real. You kind of don't have to. <laughs> now, Chloe, somebody else lost their juice, and I'm assuming I have to help them find it? Why the fuck am I doing that at level 38? No. Uh, oh no. I'm... Okay, it is this way. It... Oh yeah, down here. And then I jump into the little alcove. Find it and drink it. Well, it, you're... Well, I think that you're too sadistic to play an MMO. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, madam. Shall I show you inside? Enter the intercessor. Didn't we have a whole thing that, like, this is... Yes, we did. We had a whole conversation <laughs> the, the, this. This, this isn't an intercessory. <laughs> Uh, time for action has come. Alfie knows, Alfie no knows what he must do. Oh yeah, Chloe, do me a favor and go, uh, tell, and go, uh, tell Emmy that I'm playing this again. Oh, are you ready for the new voices? The dawn's light will shine again. He actually sounds like, like, a young adult instead of 30. He sounds like a young adult instead of, like, Sam Regal, just kind of half-assing a, half-assing a role. That's gonna, I mean, that'll take some time to get used to, but yeah, sure, why not? So long as we have mm -hmm. specious accusations yeah, I, I really like the, anything. the, the English, the, the England voice actors that they got. Okay, feeling it out, I think I do like this voice better. Oh, uh, same, heart same. <laughs> Ishgard, as Tataru proposed. I will return to Uldar and set things right. Yeah, it just fits him better. Mm hmm Um, oh, what was I gonna say? Um, I'm, I'm very used to, like, so, like, f for stuff that I like, uh, for anime... Uh, specifically, I'll usually watch it twice, once with a sub and once with a dub, so I'm very used to getting, like, familiar with two different voices for a character. So maybe mm. this is a, a little bit, like, I guess more normal for me, but I, I'm already kind of like, yeah, okay, this is his voice. I, I was, I was a little, like, when it, when it first happened, I was first playing through, uh, Shadowbringers almost four, five fucking years ago. Jesus. Uh... Sorry, I needed to triple check your your count. Um, it was just like, oh my god, that that's a new voice. <laughs> I like it, but that's a new voice. It's a very different voice, but it still fits. I like it. Pray, do not be so hasty, Master Elfino. Lord Orshafon. Orshafon. God, he's so fucking tall. He's so tall. Oh, well, do I understand your desire to clear your names? He also has oh, right, we're on the run from the law. <laughs> yep, you're on the run from the law. I literally mentioned that at the beginning of the stream. I already forgot about it. Look, when the game forgets about... Look, look, it's not that important. Don't worry about it. Listen, I'm positive that I could just... W walk into... <laughs> just walk into the city right now. And just, like, just be there and they wouldn't do anything about it. I I have told you that they, in fact, will not do anything about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't they have, like, special, special, like, like, things they say for this part of the story? Yep. Like, someone, like, if you run to any, like, the, the Crystal Braves that have turned on you, uh, yeah, so they, they'll just be like, they'll, they'll be like, yeah, we'll, we'll do something about you and... I'm gonna go get more people first, and then we'll do something about you. Totally not. My dad could beat you up. I just need to get him. Not. To be fair, we are like, like even for this point, we are kind of like crazy powerful. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've killed seven gods up to this point in time. Yeah. Now that we've gotten out of the immediate like ambush, they can't really do anything about it. Oh right. I need to have Midgard somewhere follow me around to freak everyone out. It's not like they can see him. I bring or can they? 
Count Edmont has decreed that the three of you be taken in as wards of House Fortan. Under our patronage, you shall be granted access to the city. I don't remember how to do this. Pray, consider our manor your new headquarters, from which you may gather information and plan how best to proceed. Fair enough. Say, I like this place. Should any of your missing allies be found, as I am certain they shall, they will of course be welcome to join you there. Oh right, all of the uh, all of the scions are missing, aren't they? Like literally every single yep. one except for Elfino and Elise. Uh, Thancred and Ishtola can almost assuredly be assumed dead. Bats away the Shadowbringers and Dondre. <laughs> That's why the fact that I've seen seen their updated <laughs> designs. Yeah, I was gonna say that they're definitely potentially dead. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I could have almost believed uh, that Thancred was dead because I didn't see his updated design until, like, probably only, like, four, four or five months ago. I don't know Ooh. how I missed it for so long. But I think that he stole his updated design I saw before I even started playing. Generous, my friend. Yeah, because I remember you asking about yours, her eye situation. Yeah, I still don't know exactly what happened, but like I, 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 I have seen her design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that will actually come up towards the end of Heaven's Word. The Count is a good man and just. He will treat you with the kindness and respect that a hero and dear friend deserves. I don't trust people named Count. I've had bad experiences uh, with Dracula. I mean, you know. To Ishgard, then. I promise you, Together. this one's great. There we shall carry on the silence. Or at least actually trustworthy. There we shall begin anew. <laughs> Tatara's voice is so squeaky. It's so squeaky. She only it's said so... like one thing, so I haven't gotten gotten a grasp on it yet, but it sounded like a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on ahead and speak with the Count. Fear not, however, everything has been arranged. Centuries of the Gates of Judgment have been informed of our decision. You need but state your names and they will allow you to pass. Uh, my manservant will be waiting for you at the city gates. Um, ready to escort you to our manor where we shall meet again. Until then. If, if literally all we need to do is give our names, isn't that pretty bad security? I mean, I wasn't going to say it. Uh, I just remembered another thing that I'm gonna have to do um, once we get to Ishgard. Mm -hmm. There are uh, there are triple triad matches there, aren't there? Uh, not a whole lot actually. There's okay. only a couple. Okay, but the problem is I'm going to have to grind out the cards. Because <laughs> also I th I think there's still a good amount uh, a good amount f uh, uh from ARR that I never happened to get, just because I never mm -hmm. passed by the person uh, that gives them while I was thinking about it. I doing this is the wrong menu midgard sormer where are you where are you and i'm so sorry i think i cannot be denied it's a good song i know that one you don't know that song i don't know if i do where are you and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I cannot think. I cannot breathe tonight. Uh, what's the next line? The, the unsuspecting victim of darkness in the valley. We could live like Jack and Sally if we want. <laughs> and you will always find me. We'll have Halloween on Christmas. And in the night we'll wish this never ends. <laughs> wish this never ends. Okay, I'm starting to get a vague recollection of it, but not like... Don't waste your time on me! <laughs> I'm already... Or, you're already... See, uh, I, I said the wrong one. A voice inside my head! Wait, a voice see, inside my head or a voice inside your head? Really it's been forever. Because, like, like... That wasn't really the kind of music I listened to growing up. Words of House four times? Ah, oh, yes, you may pass. Ishgard! How many people Sorry. do you think have entered Ishgard um, to the leap motif of that song? 
Not very many, I don't think. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think very many have. Anyways, I'm gonna ignore whatever's playing right now to look at the lyrics. <laughs> Friends behest. Song's title is I Miss You. Ah. Sorry about that. Heroes once celebrated as saviors of Eorzea, brought low through treachery, their names blackened with royal blood. If we're being fair, she didn't bleed. She just kind of fell over. With hope yet in their yes. Hearts, they came. But that's getting technical. Oh, Chloe, do you know what happened? Because I don't, I don't think you were watching when we finished ARR. Chloe's gonna be really sad if she doesn't know what happened. <laughs> Chloe really likes Lalafell. Ooh. Sounds like Bloodborne. Well, that, that and uh, Dark Souls are where uh, apparently some of the, maybe not direct inspiration for the designs of it, but. proud nation, devoted to Helone, the Fury, ruled by Thordon the Seventh. Actually, it looks. Bishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. It reminds me of something particular. The what is it? Bastion of the faith. Her walls ever bristling with the sworn swords and spears of her four high houses. Oh, it reminds me of Lords of the Fallen. It reminds me of that castle design. A land that after a thousand years of war had forgotten what it was. Which is also a souls like. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, Chloe, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> Gates long closed, the warrior of light and her companions passed, entering at last a city whose history was written in blood. In the midst of the Dragon Song War, they came, three weary travelers whose arrival would set in motion. Why is everyone so mad at us? Uh, well, uh, this may come as a surprise, but. Uh... Polish guard are uh, pretty xenophobic. But I'm the Azure Dragoon. No, it's almost not. like that makes it worse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chloe, uh, you remember uh, Nanamo Nanamo? Is that it? Yeah. Um, the the, the, leader, the, uh, the, the princess, leader or the, the princess queen uh, Lalafell. The, uh, oh wait, I can show you. Um, I have a tiny version of her. Bye, oh, Medgard Stormer. But okay, that's see, see her down there, little Anima. Um, we were framed for her murder because <laughs> she's dead now. Uh, so we are running to Ishgard to hide. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's fun. Um, she was poisoned while we were having a personal meeting with her, and we were, like, basically framed as much as possible. Pretty much. <laughs> actually, that's actually that's fair. What if we just walk up and I, sh and I show them my minion? I'm like, see, Nana's fine. I don't think they'd believe you. She's not <laughs> dead, you just shrank her. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be cause for a very different if her defense. <laughs> I mean... Midgard Summer's right That's here. I just shrank him. He, sh I think he shrank himself. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cuddly. I love him. Oh yeah. Uh, don't pay attention to mine. Uh, you're not supposed to see her yet. I mean, I was looking at it. I didn't get a good. I didn't get like a close look. But don't worry about who that is. It's only the best of okay. a certain group of people. Very biased. Anyways, um. Uh, 
So the verse I was singing was actually the second verse. Uh, the first verse starts out with, Hello there, the angel from my nightmare. <laughs> the shadow in the background of the morgue. <laughs> Do you recognize that one? Nope. That, like, like I said, that 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 was not the kind of music I really listened to. Oh wait, up. actually, I mix I mixed the second verse with the first verse. I I started with the second verse, but then after the third line, I switched to the I switched to the first verse. Huh. Oh, that's how that goes. Wait, is there a third verse where they say it that way? No, there isn't. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, it's a Blink One Eighty Two song. Did you know they have the they have the fastest drummer in the world? I am not surprised to hear that. I think he can drum at like three hundred something BPM. That, that's pretty impressive. It's kind of scary. Just a little bit. Greetings, Mistress Game C. On uh on behalf of House Four Temps, I bid you welcome to Ishgard. My Lord humbly requests your presence in his residence in the pillars. If you all would come with me. We're gonna be led into a back alley and shot. Wait, was Alfie not wearing different clothes? He was. He's got he's got a winter coat on. So it's start. Where's my winter coat? Uh, you don't get one yet. It's not that cold. Wait, there's no marker on my map. Oh. Oh, it's in a different area. What in the world is up with with Ishgard? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, don't worry about you getting shot. Just uh, don't worry. Dodge. It's fine. You weren't going to get shot. You are just going to get set on fire. It's it's wild being here. I don't know how to describe it, but after being in this game for how long? One second. How long have I played this game? 500 something hours? One second. Let me see. 500, 506 hours. I have put 506 hours into this game, and this is... The first time in a very long time that I've seen in a new area of the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's Before just... you go too far, though, you should come back here and attune to the. Yeah, area. I, I, I literally just thought about that when you said "before you go too far." <laughs> I, I, I saw one of like the mini aether out on the map, and I was like, "Oh right, I need to do that when I go places." Indeed, you do. The guard someone's just sitting on my shoulder. See, he He's likes showing... me tired of flying. I think that Megrod Summer's the good guy. How do you know this? Because he's sitting on my shoulder. Mm. A bad guy would do that. I don't know about that. I... I've seen bats sitting on people's shoulders before. Oh yeah, they're good bats. Hmm. Listen. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I do honestly believe my logic there. <laughs> The fact that the minion Midgard Summer gives you sits on your shoulder is enough is enough evidence for me to think that Midgard Summer is a good guy. What? Fair enough. <laughs> That's literally all I needed. I was like, okay, yeah, he's fine. Fair enough. Uh, this place is a maze. Uh. can in fact sprint you can in fact sprint here is there anywhere you can't sprint uh unless the game literally locks you out of doing it no i'm trying to think i think there's some gold saucer games that make you not sprint right and the game locks you out of doing that so yeah. warrior of light and brave companions walking the streets of ishgard at last uh what a glorious sight I cannot tell you how long I've waited for this day. Allow me to present you uh, my family home, Four Temps Manor. Uh, I should like nothing more than to show you around, but everyone has gathered to receive you. Come, my friends, introductions must be made. My lord, I have returned with the Scions. I'm still so mad I, I picked I up that file. Not too taxi. <laughs> this guy does look like Dracula. <laughs> What's wrong with this game? 
<laughs> he don't. He just looks like Dracula. Actually, he looks like a Unicorn Overlord character. He even has the unicorn on his brooch. He... Joseph. He looks like Joseph. He looks like if Joseph had long hair. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, not even that much longer. I count Edmond de Fortom to bid you welcome. Fortom. He really does just. Why does he look so much like Joseph? <laughs> so much like Joseph. <laughs> well, you see, Batman's <laughs> word came out about nine years before he even got overlooked. <laughs> so, if anything, <laughs> no, 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 they copied Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> One of the devs went back to the past. It was like, guys. There's this really cool old guy character in this, in this game that you have never heard of yet. It's not even that he looks like normal Joseph, he looks like young Joseph. Yeah. Which you see for like two seconds. The yeah. honor is mine, Master Elfino. Consider it an expression of our gratitude for your service to Ishgar. Forgive me, my lord, but are you not concerned? To accept foreign guests at such a juncture, especially ones with our reputation. Do not worry yourself on my account. Tis true that Ishgard's first thought has ever been the war effort, hence the closing of our borders. Yet it is in troubled times most of all that men should seek allies, don't you think? Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Granted, my decision will have raised eyebrows in the vault and in the halls of the other high That's houses. why I count Fortum. Fortum is, is the best. No, Fortum. Fortum. I, I want to see the camera change so again. There was a guy standing behind him that I want to look at. Endeavors, <laughs> I doubt my honored peers will feel moved to voice their concerns. Then there is naught to fear. Though our numbers are much reduced, we are Shifon no is so tall. to carry on our work. He is. It's like Don't ridiculous. Talk. Full glad am I to hear it. Uh, but before you return to your labors, why not take a tour of the city? I don't think that's what you I was looking well, at. I think, to acquaint yourselves with your new surroundings. After all, you may be here for some time. Last quick, what kind of flower is that in the corner? Um, I have no idea. I think it's a lily. I would not. Aha! Be it, it wasn't that one. But I could not tell you what it is. What do you remind me of? Oh, the old. Uh, the older brother? Art Toyro. Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. I, I don't know either, but so many people are so many people in Ishgard are reminding me of other characters. Ooh, stuff. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's this is actually good stuff. Am I actually getting stuff that's good again? Yes. They're actually like, hey, Mithrite, Sele, and you... Maiming. Yeah, they're like, hey, if you haven't had a chance to upgrade your stuff. I mean, okay. I have, I have raid tier stuff, is the thing. Yeah, or, for, yeah. For the most part, but like most people will, if they're just blazing through like the story stuff, they'll just have like, they'll have gotten like enough poetics to do like the their right side fully, and then like, or their, like one or two of the left side gear pieces. So, uh, no, so uh, they're like, here, have some actual gear that's like good and, and that will actually fill in some of the stuff that you're potentially missing out on. I think thanks to you doing my accessories, I'm fully kitted out. Uh, though our friends in House Four Times have been generous uh, enough, or Four Tom have been generous enough to extend the, us their protection, we must take care not to impose too much on their hospitality. It's only proper that we learn about our new home so we might become more self sufficient. Um, it'll take a while to learn the lay of the land, but learn it we must. Uh, then there's the markets and taverns. We'll need to know where to shop and where to hear small talk. 
Uh, it would seem a tour of the city is indeed in order. Thank you for your counsel, my lord. Companions and I shall, uh, shall of course do, do as you suggest. Very good, then my manservant shall accompany you. Uh, he'll be able to answer any questions you might have. Ah, but I grow uh, forgetful in my dotage? Okay. There's something I must uh, give you a part. The documentation is in order, I trust. Yes, my lord. Why does this manservant look like a tool? Well, you know. <laughs> is there anything more, like, insulting to call a person than manservant? <laughs> No. Like, just say servant. I feel like saying manservant for some reason is so much more insulting. It, it's a little more insulting, I would think. But what do I know? Those documents identify you as wards of House Forton. Given that our borders have remained closed for decades, many of my countrymen are unaccustomed to, tre uh, to, to treating with foreigners. Should anyone happen to question your presence here, it may prove necessary to remind them that you remain under the protection of House Forton. Uh... Let us hope it shall not come to that. If it does, they, you have a club spear on your back to, to greet them with. By the way, what's about that? It really kind of clashes with everything. <laughs> uh, I, that's all I got. <laughs> I, 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 tore, I, I tore out Titan's spine. Pretty much. Rest assured we shall do our utmost to avoid any situation which might compel you to or compel us to invoke your name. Lucia, Tataru, the city awaits. Let's go. What's the... Hydaelyn? That's her name? Hydaelyn, yeah. So now that Hydaelyn's dead, is Midgard Summer <laughs> my, new, my new father? <laughs> 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 Have I been adopted by Midgard Stormer? <laughs> Is that how that works? I, I need I need to, to recover from the. Is Midgard Stormer my new dad? What's <laughs> 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 your first? In the <laughs> As this is your first time in our fair city, pray for me to show you the hoplon. From once we make, isn't that a shield? From once we uh, gaze upon the splendor of the holy vault, though all other sights pale in comparison, this uh. Or, uh, tis only meat, tis only meat that you see it first. I'll show you around the jeweled crozier. Stop saying stupid words. You're, you're such a tool. <laughs> they're not stupid words, they're French. Jeweled crozier. So yes, they're exceptionally stupid. Or you may purchase all manner of goods and services before descending to Foundation's Aetherite Plaza. If there are no questions... Wait, I tuned to that Aetherite, right? I remember I clicked on it. One? That's all you need to do, yes. right? Okay. Yeah, click on it, wait five seconds. And you and you tend to it. A shard. I need to click on all the shards too, don't I? Yep. I'm I missed one and, down there then. I mean, you're gonna be going throughout the whole city, really, so you'll get a chance to attune to all of them. I got somewhere so cute on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm sure he would take umbrage with being called cute, but he's my, he's my really son. Like you. Yep. You just asked if he was your father, and now you're calling him your son? You can be both. <laughs> Listen, he's a giant dead dragon and also a tiny baby dragon on my shoulder. He can be both my dad and my son. <laughs> the Hoplon, so named for the bronze great shield born by our nation's patron deity, is the largest uh, plaza in Ishgard. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot. I can do that. Okay. Uh... The magnificent cathedral, or cathedral to the north is, of course, the Holy Vault. The Vault is both Ishgard's seat of governance and residence of the Archbishop uh, of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. They're the ones that don't want people to fuck dragons, right? Yeah. Okay. Begging you apart. <laughs> Statues to the south. Any, uh, are, um, are they perchance Thornton's famed Knights Twelve? Very good, Master Alfie, now. They are the fathers of Ishgard, the brave, brave knights who joined with King Thordon, Thordon the I to put down Nidhogg and found, found this great nation. Ours is a city rich in history and tradition. 
And there's much you can learn by exploring the pillars, time permitting, of course. Now then, if you would follow me to the jewel jeweled crozier. Crozier? Crozier? You're asking the wrong person. <sighs> you might. Crozier. That's not right. Uh... A hooked staff carried by a bishop as a symbol of pastoral office. The curled top of a young fern. Oh. Okay. I know the I know the fern I know the fern one. I know what that's talking about. I work with plants all the time. Crozier. Huh. Yeah, I think in this case it's supposed to be that first one. That's but... that's definitely not a French person saying that. Um Nope, not English. How do you say it in French? Come on. I think I I think that actually came through on the stream. Uh, French, French. This there's this is alphabetical, isn't it? There it is. Hang on a second. Crozier. Okay. There's that and that's not right. Oh, there it is. Crozier. Cro Crozier. I'm going to say Crozier. I think that's the more fun way to say it. Jeweled Crozier, I shall introduce you to Mistress Al Alace? Alace? I hate... I hate being here already. <laughs> Master of the Markets. Like, we went from... We went from Old English nonsense to French nonsense. And let's be real. We'd much rather have the Old English nonsense than the French nonsense. At least English is the language I speak. <laughs> <laughs> France wishes it was this cool. Look at this. This is amazing. This actually, actually, specifically, like right around here, reminds me of Van Romando. Yeah, that's what that that was like. What a lot of people were were saying is like their first like impression of of Ishgard was that it was very Anne Orlando. This way, and then I hook a right and look for a staircase. There. Yeah, I think that's right. Hey, a summoning bell. I forgot. I need to. I think I need. I think I need a. I think I need a fourth uh, person. Oh God. <laughs> I have three, and they're all full. What are they called? Yeah, no. Retainers? Retainers. I think I need a fourth retainer. <laughs> I know. Where's this thing again? Alacy? Alace? Well, you're clearly not locals or traveling pillars. Uh, what? Which makes you all. Ah, words of House Forton. Oh, very interesting. Uh, Count Edmund has granted us uh, leave to remain in Ishgard for as long as we wish, which may be some time. Accordingly, we will have needs of sundry goods, hence our desire to make your acquaintance. That is, of course, assuming you are content to accept the custom, the custom of foreigners. Should you be uncomfortable... Young sir, we do not discriminate in matters of money. If you have the coin to spend, who are we to refuse it? Weapons, armor, accoutrement, medicine, materials. Did you really have to throw the one in the middle there, lady? Um... Yep. You're lucky I knew how to pronounce that. Whatever you desire, it can be found at the it can be pronounced it can be found at the Crozier. Um, our merchants will be more than happy to accommodate you, uh, as you shall soon see. So when I looked up uh, Crozier, uh, mm. to try to s see how a French person pronounces it, it was coming up as it wasn't a French word; it was an English word. Mm. So I think it is Crozier. I'm okay with that, but it's still very silly. It's 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 a nightmare. Our next destination is the Aetherite Plaza in found in Foundation. Everyone is re if everyone is ready. I forgot that they just took you there like that. Hey, lady, I think your tea is ready. Mm, it, it might be ready for forever. <laughs> 
heats up a teapot on like magma? Uh, like a like in terms of like a specific character? Well, or apparently like... her, but I'm asking why. That would fuck if I know. I think that's just supposed to be hot coals. They're just you know. Merchant and Mender. Oh yeah, do does all my stuff does all my stuff have Oh right, this stuff doesn't have materia slots. Indeed. That will change with the with the raid gear at the end of uh Heaven's Word. Oh, augment. Oh, I have the Oh, I only have three pieces of Okay, so that's why the head was better. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was confused. I thought that I had the full set of uh, the Augmented Ironworks set. And then you made me... <laughs> I think you made me an accessory set for literally every class. I probably did, because I was like, it'll just be easier than having you just spend poetics on all of that. See, see, the thing is, I kept tricking you into thinking that I'd officially changed classes, so you just kept making me more sets. Well, and also, I kind of just figured that, you know, you would just eventually play everything. So I said, I I, 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 re I resigned myself to that fate. <laughs> I know you definitely gave me one that works for Dragoon and uh, Samurai. You gave me and one I, that works for, for healers. You gave me one that works for my casters. I don't know I don't if you gave you, me one that works for tanks, though. I don't think I gave you tank stuff either. Well, we can, However, we can see. Uh, on the bright side, you can now just, at the current... Whatever. Oh, wait, I wouldn't be able to use it anyways. I don't have a tank that's 50. <laughs> wait, no, I have, wait, no, Warrior's 50. I was going to say, is it Warrior oh. 50? Huh. I mean. Oh, right, this one's a pain. I have stuff. I spent so much time making the Barbarian's Bardiche, and it's not even that great. <laughs> it's really not. I spent so much time getting high enough level to craft it, and I even bought, bought like, the axe head. Uh, from oh, the market God. board. You, you just reminded me of how painful some of the Heaven's Word crafter quests are. Uh, like, I know the level 53 Weaver quest, If assuming they haven't changed it, uh, you have to make a high-quality item that you can use as a crafter and it's better than the other level 50 gear you would get that you could get otherwise but you just they just say no you have to give it to them you have to give it to that quest npc i mean that's just the crafter quests that's like i've done that many times already i know but it's just like god damn it <laughs> and here i found foundation's aetherite plaza if you have yet to attune to the aetherite it'll be wise to do so now Give me the Mithril Sally of Maiming. Equip. What does it look like? <laughs> I look like a chess piece. Okay, well, maybe you are a chess piece. face on it <laughs> you got you gotta look real mad when you're, when you're fighting I'm, dragon i'm not a fucking sh <laughs> i'm not a fucking samurai <laughs> actually to be fair this is the helmet i would use as a samurai too wouldn't it i actually don't think it is i think it's maiming and samurai uses striking so oh wait is it <laughs> oh uh, yeah it's just it's just lancer dragoon and reaper okay <laughs> my little cat ears sticking out of the top of it. <laughs> okay, you know what I actually look like? I I I look like a heartless. Shit, you're right. <laughs> I I just look like I just look like a like a like mid boss heartless. Uh, oh, there are dragons all over that look cooler than I do. Ooh, caps of aiming, casting. Oh, I don't 
think I'll need any of these, but I might get the cap of casting. See, this is why my, my armory chest fills up so much. Because I just mm -hmm. actually take the stuff. Instead of just taking the money. Yeah. I feel like I feel like since I'm so, so good at crafting, I should probably just take the money and make my own gear. Probably should, really. And it'll make life a little easier for you and well, have well, less. Well, like the only the only thing I'm not great at still, I think, is armor. But I have, I have, uh, I have uh, weaver and uh, and goldsmith really high. Weaver and goldsmith are like fifty five or something. As for our next destination, maybe we should decide together. What else can be found nearby? Well, over there is a cannon. With, a... Is that, like, a harpoon gun that shoots, like, 20 harpoons at once? Is that how they bring down dragons? Yes. That's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> I've noticed that thing a couple times on panovers, and I haven't mentioned it yet, but that's pretty cool. I... I guess correct you. I'm pretty sure it's a harpoon gun. If it's not, it's just a cannon, uh, like a rapid fire cannon. That's also pretty cool. I mean, um, when you're when you're fighting dragons for a millennia, you you gotta develop some pretty uh, impressive tech. I mean, the thing is that like, the thing in most fantasy is that the key to fighting a dragon is getting it out of the fucking sky. So like. Mm -hmm. It, it would make a lot of sense if it was a harpoon. It would. However, uh, Ishgard has said, you know, we could just try to not only shoot, you know, we could just blast them out of the sky, or we could we could train people to be yeah. able to jump through the air. Yeah, that's why dragons jump. Literally <laughs> alter their midair their momentum and then fight with a lance to uh, fight a dragon. Yeah, dragons are pretty cool. Dragons are pretty fucking cool. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, the sky, the sky steel uh, manufactory stands to the west. Uh, there, are engineers conceive and manufacture weapons to use against the dragons. The holy stables where chocobos are trained for war also lie in that direction. Okay, hey, that's where you go get machinist. Oh, fancy! To the north and east can be found, found the congregation of our knights most heavenly. While to the south and east, well, it would be best if you avoided that area. <laughs> that's not a thing that a guide to a city should say. And why is that? Yeah. I fear our knights may, may not be able to ensure your safety in the lowest levels, Master Alfina. Oh. Hold your nose when you pass the broom, little lord. A delicate flower like you is like to wilt in our fumes. You misjudge me, sir, for I am no lord but a humble traveler. Come to see the sights, have you? Well, turn down the hoplon and gawk at the statue. What, are, is, is this guy like a soccer hooligan? Look at him. Pretty much. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, he's, he's, uh, what's the word? What's the phrase? Oh, yes, a poor person. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Well, if you mind to learn how to better half live, come and have a drink at the Forgotten Night if your nursemaid will let you. He just walked towards the... Okay, never mind. My humblest apologies, Master Alfino. <laughs> Pray pay that drunken lout no mind. Drunken lout, that's what you were going for. <laughs> oh, but I must. It would not uh it would not do to refuse such a heartfelt invitation. Yes, I simply must see this forgotten knight for myself. God, I love Alfino. He's he's wonderful. I trust he's you. Kind of an idiot, but he's wonderful. I trust you see the wisdom in this, Lucia. There are a few sources of information more abundant than a than a Bustling local hostelry. Uh, not that I expect to hear any words of our missing comrades just yet. Nevertheless, uh, who can say what, what we might learn of recent events? Then I'm coming too. Tatar, you will be kicked like a soccer ball. Do you think if you kicked Tataru hard enough, it would <laughs> it would it would make the kickball sound? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Zero doubt in my mind. Is this the same is true of all LFL? I, th I yeah. think the Anonymo would make the sound of like a Fabergé egg shattering. Yeah, she's the exception. 
Also, you don't even want to do that because if you do, you piss off Raubon and you don't want to piss off Raubon. <laughs> oh no, the, the last time Raubon was pissed off, he was so cordial and kind to everybody. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't PG bisect a man. He, that's my favorite cutscene I've ever seen in anything ever. It's, <laughs> it's a really well done cutscene. Let the clan hunt begin. I'm gonna not do that. Uh, that one is just, hey, you can now do, uh, the next level of hunt for, which is just a really quick, fast way, not fast way, but, like, it, it's a easy way to get a bit of experience, to just make grinding a little easier. Ah. So, like, when you're done with, like, dailies and, like, you're playing a DPS class that can't really just spam dungeons because of DPS queue. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know. I must say, this is rather unusual. Not just you made me sad remembering DPSQ. <laughs> oh, that that's why I'm here. I'm very glad that I can level summoner by doing uh by doing scholar. scholar. Yep. Wait, but but that also makes me sad because being a healer or a tank also scares me because that means I have responsibilities. Oh no, you have I'll be real. Uh, See, Heaven's Word is kind of the point where, as we start getting further into it, uh, classes start to get more of their identity, and kind of as a result, Scholar especially, starts to, like, lean more into getting what makes it it, if that makes sense. See, here's the thing, Scholar specifically, there was that one time that I was playing, and, um, and Aeos just refused to heal anybody for some reason the entire dungeon. Like, I looked into it, I made sure that everything was, like, bound right, like, a a halfway through the dungeon, I, like, unsummoned her and resummoned her again, and she still didn't, and then I unsummoned her and resummoned her again, and she finally started healing normally. Hmm. And that already terrifies me. But then Tank, also, I just don't remember the way to go. <laughs> it's fine. But, so, but... I turn into a ball of anxiety. I understand. And I kind Don't of worry. roll around. And you know what they say about rolling stones gathering moss? Kind of? I know I've heard the term. I know I've heard it before, but I couldn't tell you what it means right now at this moment. Uh, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Because it's rolling, so moss uh... can't grow on it. Now, what that actually means has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. But I take the moss to... Th to kind of mean, uh, like, comfort. Mm. I see, I see. I'm being an idiot, basically. <laughs> yeah. Let's say this rather unusual. Not just one, but a whole party of fresh new faces in my tavern. We but recently arrived in Ishgard and are eager to, and are eager to acquaint ourselves with uh, her more no notable establishments, Master. Um... Her... Gibralant. Just Gibralant will do. And I'm flattered you think so highly of my establishment. Can't promise it'll live up to the expectations, but if it's decent food and drink you're after, you could do much worse. Judging by the numbers of custom by the number of customers I see, I suspect your fare is, is rather more than decent. Speaking of your clientele, I cannot help but note a difference between those who frequent the upper and lower floors. Spotted that, did you? Aye. Up here you'll find peddlers, porters, off duty knights, and so forth. Uh, dropping in on their way uh, to or from somewhere else. Regulars, uh, regulars maybe, but not locals. Uh, folks from the broom, they tend to congregate downstairs, where we offer a menu more suited to their taste. Cheaper meals, stronger spirits, all quality in mind, uh, but not the sort of stuff uh, I'd recommend to yourselves. You speak of the lowest levels, yes? Why do they call them the broom, if I may ask? Because uh, when the weather's foul and the broom rolls in thick, it, it's the poor sods living at the bottom who have to deal with it. I see. What's a broom? Sky, do you know what a broom is? I think it's supposed to be something like a blizzard? Broom. Mr. Fog. 
see i think it's just general like 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 vision obscuring weather so i i, th I think a, i think a blizzard would count and it's not just the weather how oh, they just said weather okay great <laughs> Uh, when the wyverns broke through the wards and started tearing up the city, it was the broom that got the worst of it. Uh, while the pillars enjoyed the protection of the high house and the temple knights, more than a few people are still s sore about that mind. Which is why, considering your present company, I'd recommend you keep your wits about you if you mean to go below. And something sharp sharpen your boot, just to be sure. You know. I shall take your words to heart, sir. Master Alfino, I think it would be best if we returned to Fort Taunt Manor. You're going ahead without me. I'll, I'm staying for a drink or two. <laughs> Mr. Taru, I'm afraid that is out of the question. My lord, the Count would never forgive me if I abandoned one of his charges in such a place. Least of all, a maiden. What are you up to, Tataru? Uh, slowly becoming the most powerful figure in the entirety of Eorzea. <laughs> I would not be surprised if a week later she is running the black market. <laughs> Look around, Alfino. <laughs> oh, yeah. The tavern is full of business. Yeah. Is full of people whose whose business regularly takes them beyond the gates of judgment. With friends like that, I could practically live here and wait for the newest gossip to come to me. You have no idea. Indeed, but will you be safe here on your own? It's 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 Tatara. You know she's fine. Oh, oh, she's absolutely fine. Oh please, you know how often I looked after the waking sands and the rising stones by myself. If I had guilt for every unwelcome caller I've driven away, I'd be rich beyond my wildest dreams. I'll be fine. Not that I doubt the ladies an act for fending off unwanted advances, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let anyone uh, lay an unwelcome hand on, my, on a patron of my establishment. That settles it then, Tataru. Lucy and I shall return to the manor for now. Contact me by Link Pearl if you require assistance. I will. I love how the manservant still hasn't gotten a name. <laughs> yeah, he's just manservant. God, he's so... What's down here? Uh, an Aether. They're all dead, oh, and he... it was me who killed them. Oh, hey, look at that oh, hey, Look at that one Aura uh, guy that was there. He, he definitely didn't have a big sword on his back. I'm sure he's not important. Huh? I was, looking at, this I was looking at this drunk guy who's saying he killed some people. Uh... Well, there's definitely a really tall Ara dude with a girl by him, and he definitely doesn't have a giant sword on his back. Dark Knight? He's definitely the Dark Knight guy. Hello. Sigurgu? Sigurgu. Sigurgu. Sig. Sig. Sigurd. I don't know how to say it anymore because I've been misreading it this entire. Sigurd. It's Sigurgu. His name is Sigurd. Sigurd. Yep. <laughs> I. It's the. It's. The... I mean, it is Sigurgu, but mm -hmm. but he looks like Sigurd. Yeah. Well, or well, like the, I guess Sigfried. Did you the 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 Arjuna bit right? No. With me, with me and him, I. For literally Wait. five uh, until Samurai Remnant came out, Wait, is that way? I read his name as Arjuna. No, it's Arjuna. A R G A U R N A. There is no a second R. It is Arjuna. Yeah, I didn't know that. I was doing Arjuna. A R J U R N A. Ah, I see. To be literally, fair, has I'm... his name ever been pronounced in a in in a Fate Media before this? Yes. When? Uh, Excella Link. Oh, I forgot Excella Link exists. I don't blame you. Every a lot of people do. The Wait. the only reason uh it's really remembered is because Excella Link introduced. Okay, Excella introduced Altera as a new character, and then uh Excella Link introduced. That's not right. Uh. Oh, Charlemagne. Down here? Okay, it's down here. <laughs> uh, the only thing What's I know it? about Extella Link is that I want the Extella Link Tamagotchi. Extella Link is the... C 
sequel to wait Excel Link still... is a sequel to Extella, which in of itself is a kind of what you just sell isn't itself itself a like what if scenario after extra. Extra what if scenario just is extra. Extella. Extella Link is a sequel to that, and then CCC is a It's like a midquill it's like a midquill going on in in the middle of extra. I think that Nasu needs to be given a race. <laughs> You're implying he hasn't given himself a raise. He needs a bigger one. <laughs> just, just give him all your money. Look, when Suki, well, look when the Suki Hime uh, remake comes out in a couple months, I absolutely am giving him money. <laughs> oh, did did uh, the uh, uh, the Fate Stay Night um, visual novel remake for the Switch come out, or is that later? I think. I don't think that's a thing yet. I think that like I don't know if that's a thing because I know that that the Sukuhime visual novel is coming out in June. I think it's June. I'm pretty sure it's June. See, the thing is June about, or June, but I don't think the. I know that there's a fan website that has the entirety of. No, it was announced. Like it's a thing that's happening. But like, it should be. it's the version where they took out all the weird sex scenes. Yeah, it's the... And that the makes me sad and kind of makes me not want to buy it. <laughs> 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 Just because I feel like without that, it's it's kind of... You're missing some of the spirit of it. <laughs> I was going to say some of the charm is missing. <laughs> I don't care if they're bad or they don't make sense or they're like... Or they like like mess with the pacing a little bit i feel like that's kind of just part of the experience <laughs> is the is the really poorly written sex scenes exactly <laughs> just just for comparison's sake to what to, to like the other shit going on with it hey eddie how you doing tell us then master alfino does this card meet uh does this card meet with your expectations um that which I imagined pales in comparison to the reality. I felt the weight of a thousand years of history with every step I took, and when those steps took me past, uh, took me past the scars left uh, by the wyverns in Foundation, I understood how easily that history could end in tragedy. I feel I was so good at talking. Yes. The attack was devastating. The casualties unspeakable. The wyverns did not discriminate. Unarmed men and women, even children, were given no quarter. Well, it's almost like they're dragons. Sorry, America's ordered his knights to strengthen our defenses, and um, and each house has been called upon to lend what support it can. Uh, there is much to be done, yet alas, able-bodied men and women are in short supply. Mayhap we could be of assistance, my lord. Uh, after all you've done for us, we would uh, welcome any opportunity to repay your kindness. That is the most generous offer, Master Alfino. Your guests in my home to whom I have extended my hospitality without obligation. Or, without obligation, let or lean. Um, nevertheless, Ishgard's need is great, and if you are willing to aid our cause, I cannot well refuse. It's when he's, like, in the mid-distance. I think he looks like... What's that thief guy from Unicorn Overlord? <laughs> the, like... Gamble? The guy that neither of us recruited because he's an asshole? Yeah. Gemmel? Gemmel? Yeah, Gemmel or, Ge or Gimmel or something. Yeah. Doesn't he kind of look like that if you, like, don't look at him directly? The uh, the older brother? Yeah. Yeah, kinda. Just, like, the hairstyle, how it, like, lo looks kind of, like, greasy and wavy and black, and, like, how when he's, like, farther back, his eyes look sunken in and, like, weird. Mm -hmm. I think, th I think that's who I was thinking of. I can see that. Like, if you're just kind of glancing at him and not really, like looking too hard at him i can see why you think why why you why you'd make that comparison yeah uh i don't think i fully agree but like i, I definitely like see here's the thing i don't agree either but but when i catch it out of the corner of my eye that that's the impression that i got mm. like i know he doesn't look like that guy but like the first time i noticed him and like just now it happened again when i first uh, when i first noticed him again th that's the impression that i got when i saw him that's incredibly fair, honestly. 
From what I've heard, uh, you are an intelligent and persuasive young man. Such, qual such qualities um, may prove most useful to us in our efforts to secure provisions from foreign sources. Identifying trustworthy suppliers, brokering contracts, and so on. Maybe you shouldn't let Alfino do that, considering that he's wanted in Eorzea. <laughs> Uh, only wanted by a certain subsect of people. He's wanted... I feel like... I feel like... For the sake of... Of, like, the, the balance of the, of the three cities... I feel like all of them kind of have to be, like, a little bit going along with, like... Hey, yeah, if we see them, we'll, we'll tell you. <laughs> right? I mean, yes. Like, I feel like, regardless of what's going on with everything in Ulda, like, the other city-states kind of have to at least, on the surface, be like, oh yeah, that's horrible. They definitely did that, sure. You're right, and they do. Oh yeah, uh, I don't think Alfino should be brokering any trade deals with anybody. I agree. But however, here he is. As for you, Mistress Game C, I could ask for... Uh, no one better than a st storied veteran s such as yourself. A woman with the capability to act swiftly and decisively when needed. Uh, to, to aid Ar Artorial and Emanolaine in their duties. Artorial and Emanolaine. I beg your pardon. I am more than capable of carrying out my duty by myself. I have no need of our honored guest's assistance. Now, now, be reasonable, brother. What manner of fool would say no, no one a famous hero offered to do his work? <laughs> that's actually uh, can you that's a good that's a good of, point. I was like, can you tell what kind of it's like, can you tell which sibling is which? Uh, yeah, you know. Hold your tongues. By the fury, the two of you will conduct yourselves with dignity befitting your station and show Mistress Game see the, the respect she deserves. This is the woman who slew Gaius Van Balzar, and. Uh, and some half dozen primals. Besides, she is not here to steal your glory or serve as your errand girl. I just remembered everything that <laughs> I just remembered everything that Nero went through. <laughs> yep, <laughs> poor bastard. Because that was like its own kind of like kind like kind of contained thing with the Crystal Tower. I forgot about it until now. <laughs> God, Nero mm. Nero went through some stuff. What's he up to these days? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. It's not important. Next time we see him, we're gonna f find him, like, captured by some goblins. <laughs> Just gonna be sitting in a cage, wondering where his life went wrong. Uh, <laughs> if you could pardon them for, pardon them their impropriety, Mr. Scamsey, I shall be much obliged if you would lend my sons a helping hand. I like Emma... Emma... Lenny Emelanian? Emelanian? Is that his name? The, the younger brother? I like the younger brother. He's funny. Do not blame you. The younger brother is, pre is pretty funny. My thanks. Fury willing, uh, they may even learn something from you. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's my favorite. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> His, his brother's just like, what the hell? And, and, and then he's behind him, just like, this bump, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm having, I, 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 I'm enjoying these people. They're uh, very fun. This is a very fun cast, I, in my opinion. It would seem we shall not want for employment over the coming days, though that was never in doubt. Our host's initial reluctance to accept our offer of aid was solely for appearance's sake. In truth, he is glad of this opportunity to put us to work. By granting us patronage, House Fortom has taken a tremendous risk. Until we demonstrate our worth to Ishgard at large, the Count will face considerable opposition from his peers in matters great and small. And so he would have us publicly serve Ishgard, while simultaneously keeping his sons in check. His arrangement we may benefit from in unexpected ways. My own duties may feasibly bring me into contact with people who know something of our missing comrades. And as you go about helping our two lords with their various responsibilities, you will inevitably make some new acquaintances in Ishgard, mayhap even new allies. Uh, yes, the more I think on it, the more confident I am that by farthering their goals, we shall farther our own. Um, I really probably should just take money, shouldn't I? You probably should, yeah. You're gonna run out of space otherwise. It's so, it's so full-bodied. It, it just hits you. 
the 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 quest complete and and, and quest and quest start jingle. It's just so. It it's just like so so full bodied and like and like bassy of like a it's it's like a pipe organ or something. It's definitely a pipe organ. Yeah, it's, it's like definitely. A pipe organ. It's just weird how much it hits you compared to like the more like lilty jingle that the, that the other one was. Emma. Okay, it's not Emmalanian. It's Emmanel. Emmanelane. I am convinced they say it once, and I could not tell you how the fuck they Emma said Nelane. it. Emmanelane. What the hell? Why are you so short? Well, you see, you're so tiny. You're uh, like a Lalafell, but not. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I am a child does not mean I am a Lalafell, you know. You're like you're like two years old. Hey, should I go look into days into days of azure? I need a second now. I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do the I'm gonna go do the dragoon quest really quick. <laughs> I'm sad now. I, I I'm out of Java monster. And I would get another one, but that would actually kill me. Time for water. I think that the best thing anybody can ever, like, invest in is just a massive water bottle. Sky, are you alive? I am, I am here. Okay. I'm also probably going to be a little quieter now because I've realized that uh, the other people in this house are sleeping, so... Uh... I'm sorry that I'm such a comedy genius. I just... I was not prepared for that. <laughs> I was not prepared for that in the goddamn slightest. Um... Yeah, um, I was expecting this, uh, this stream to be too long since we're still, uh, like, getting into the swing of it. Um, uh, so after I do the Dragoon thing, we can probably end. And uh, then, uh, if you want to do the Dragoon thing, uh, the older brother will bring you to, uh, where you need to go for the Dragoon thing. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just walk there. You can. See, that would require me talking to the older brother. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I don't like the older brother. <laughs> oh, but why not? Let me put it this way, I like the manservant better than the older brother so far. And it's mainly because I can make fun of the manservant. <laughs> Sometimes it's interesting to just look at the names as you pass, like, random NPCs by. Mm hmm Oh. I guess I should ask, are you also going to be unlocking the the new jobs that you can get now? Leaves of Ishgard. Let the clan hunts begin. Um, I know I definitely want at least Dark Knight. Alright, then you want to go to... Let's see if I can remember. Oh. If I recall correctly... I love how Dark Knight's the one I want when I was just talking about how tank classes scare me. Uh, the the teleport point that you are ah. looking for for Dark Knight is the tribunal. Do I have to talk to the older brother to go that way? Yes, I believe you do. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> because, yeah, you yeah. didn't ask. I I said I was going that way. I I very specifically said I am going that way without talking to the brother. <laughs> I also forgot. <laughs> you should know everything about this game. You've played it like eight times as long as I have. I should, but I actually wait. Hold on. How how long did you? Uh, I'm at five hundred and eight hours now. I think a hundred and four days and thirteen hours is more than five hundred and eight. Do I... do I need to do something for you? 
I'm I'm doing the math. Do I need to do I need to do I need to call somebody? Or what? <laughs> to like like a like a therapist or How many days? 104. Days? <laughs> yeah, days and 13 hours. Over the course of 5 years. <laughs> That's still, a, that's still almost like a third of an entire year. I know. Okay, fine. Artorial, let's... Artorial. What do you want me to do? I'm I'm using you as a means to an end. I hope you're happy with that. Let us begin anew, Mr. Scamsey. I am Sir Artorial de Fortin. De Forton. Eldest son of Count Edmund de Forton. Uh... You will forgive my outburst, I hope. I meant no disrespect. I merely consider myself uh, equal to the duties entrusted to me, unlike some. Uh, Harshfong has uh, spoken of you often. If you're even half the woman he claims, I shall be glad to have you at my side. The matter at hand, then. We will be assisting uh, my esteemed compatriots of House Durandair and, Zam uh, and uh, Zamael. Is that how you say it? Zamael? I believe so, yes. Or Zamael. Zamael? Zamael? I don't know. You're aware of our friendly rivalry, I take it. Aye, well, suffice to say, uh, the prospect of assisting said houses does not fill me with joy. However, it is the will of the Holy See uh, that we set aside our differences at this critical juncture. Uh, but we will speak more of that anon. I guess anon just means, like, later. <laughs> First, we must uh, need secure transport to Falcon's Nest. Let's make for Chocobo Stables and Foundation. I swear, if you make me ride a chocobo somewhere, I'm going to be mad at you. I've gone this entire game without ever using a chocobo stable. I guess what? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's really funny. I, I literally don't think I have ever used the chocobo stable. However, you will now have to break that oath. I mean, it's not and an oath. oath. I just I never mean... did it, because why would I? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. And by oath, I mean trend. <laughs> Oh no, I, I, I've i lost my paladin powers. Oh no, how could you do such a thing? Oathbreaker paladins are interesting. What's interesting? Oathbreaker paladins. They, they can be. I think they're very cool. They're uh, based, as the kids say. Hmm. <laughs> Did I use that right? I'm going to say that as long as they're not being like Omega Edgelords. How dare you? That's the best. You. <laughs> okay. Listen. I know. I. <laughs> you're, you're running Curse of Strahd soon. My, my character, my, my character like seed idea was literally make the edgiest yes. motherfucker that I possibly can. <laughs> How dare you tell me that being edgy is a bad thing in any way, in any circumstance. I, <laughs> I, w I guess I wasn't incredibly clear on my uh definition of that <laughs> it's fine i get what you mean I, I get what you mean hmm? <laughs> it's <Yeah>. fine <laughs> you, like you'll actually play with the party not against them i mean that's just being a good player that's nothing to do with like being edgy i know well it can for some people but those well, people but, well are they're bad. idiots i don't care about them yeah yeah. Greetings, Mr. Gansey. I've saddled a black chocobo for your journey to the Western Highlands. That's for Lord Artorial's Ar instruction. Will this be your first time riding a black chocobo, may I ask? If so, you're in for a treat. As I dare say, you know, this particular breed can fly, given the right conditions. They will carry you quite high, too, even over Snowcloak. Um, you need to worry about directing the bird, of course, like all porters. She's trying to carry you to your destination all by herself, so just relax and enjoy the view. I'll make sure not to relax your grip, will you? Those uh, Two hands on the reins at all times, if you please. <laughs> uh, sure thing, buddy. To be fair, that's not even, in? like, actually using the Chocobo Porter, even. Because, <laughs> like, it, that's a quest. Yeah. And also... Yeah, they didn't even actually, like, play me moving to that area. Nope. Because... Although, when you... Although when you because the normal Porter here... actually actually puts you on a Chocobo and takes you there in real time, doesn't it? Yeah, and then when you... But then when you go back to Ishgard from here, you'll have to take a Porter. To the frozen waste Since you can't fly here yet. Islands. They're talking. Once verdant tracts yeah, every time you go to a new area, you get a little narration. I'm 
glad they didn't do that for all of ARR, because damn, there are a lot of places there. Yep. Yeah, since there are only six areas now, they, they felt like, yeah, we can get away with doing that now. That the knights of Ishgard strove tirelessly to reclaim. To the hamlet of Falcon's Nest. Once abandoned, now freed of its pall of snow and ash. This is pretty big for a hamlet, I gotta say. I don't think this counts as a hamlet. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of just a border fortress, if anything. So, you know, not a hamlet. I mean, it's like... The thing is that it's like the size of a hamlet, but it's like the, the defenses and like space and niceness of like... Well, like you said, like a full-on fortress. Like it's like city level. Mm-hmm. It's just like a city that was shrunk down to the size of a hamlet. Pretty much. Pretty much just that. I've had to learn about the difference between hamlets and villages and towns and cities recently. Um, Days of Azure. This way. Okay, bye, Artreal. Art, 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 Wait, aren't you, aren't you supposed to be helping me? Ah, I can't fly here, damn it. <laughs> They've clipped my chocobo's wings. No. <laughs> oh, do you? Indeed. You will not be able to fly here until uh, certain things happen. Does my map not... What's up with my map? Uh, well, now that you're in a new area that you haven't been oh, in Oh, there before. it goes. Okay. New, new location, it pops up. I see. You also notice you're getting a minor amount of experience for this. Yeah. So, uh, have fun. Oh. It's a nice way to just, like, gain some just quick, kind of, kind of nothing experience your first time in a new area. Wait, did that not? Wait, did I press the wrong button? It's that one. Are deep eyes immune to my? Oh no, they aren't. Uh, to his bowel. Oh no, no, nothing is immune to a dot or or giving yourself a buff. Oh, one second. Do, I thought disembowel gave its own effect. Yeah, disembowel gives yourself. Oh, a buff. it gives me. It gives it gives me one. Okay. Yeah, it gives yeah it gives you a damage buff. It gives me wait. It gives me power surge. Yeah. Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's why you do the disembowel combo first. I've no. Yeah, these guys are. That one. Yeah, you do disembowel combo, and then you pretty much save life surge just for full thrust. Houston, I'm sorry I took so long. It seems like you've been having a fun time over here. <sighs> there are too many. Look out! Ah. Probably fine. Oh god. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I am I'm not used to pressing that button that far apparently. Whenever I go to press five I accidentally hit four. Oops. I'll pretend like that's not concerning. <laughs> it's not really that concerning, honestly. No, if I miss Chaos Thrust, then the Samurai will yell at me. Oh no, not the Samurai. Actually, wait, isn't one of my... Oh yeah, Chaos Thrust has a position on the rear. Yeah. I'm never going to do that alone. Wait! Nope. Uh, True North. I've solved your puzzle. <laughs> 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 I, I, you, you won't fool me, <laughs> like you were trying to. I, I'm sure. <laughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude. <laughs> Our lessons have not yet begun, and you've already seen me on my knees. I've, I've been trying to match what lance work of yours I, I'd seen, but without success. 
That was how the dragons managed to overwhelm me. Well, it's almost like you, uh, very, very much changed up a thing you're very used to. And, uh, mm -hmm. in the middle of a hard battle. In the middle of a fight that, that she shouldn't have been doing that in. Had I but fallen back on my tried and trusted techniques, I would have made short work of their elk. But what I have learned then, nay, what I know is no longer enough. The works, uh, the works acts a heavy toll on us all, but none more so than we dragoons. If we are to survive, we must grow stronger. I must grow stronger. Lucy, will you demonstrate your techniques to me? I would study your movements up close. I don't know if it's practical for me to show her my moves, considering the weapon that I'm holding isn't a lance. <laughs> you know, it's really just a really, it's, really... It's a broomstick. Ball. It's a broomstick that I dipped in magma. Pretty much. I, I suppose you have the right of it. Uh, there's no substitute for live foes. Uh, come with me, then. There's a suitable place uh, west of the Black Iron Bridge. I joined your party in this deep I got really mad at me. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's too far away. Oh. And I saw the Rathalos mount, and all I could think of is that Stories 1 is getting remade. Oh, right. Is it like an actual remake or just a remaster? It's actually it's it, it's supposed to be like an actual remake as That's I understand it. That's impressive. Wait, because it's supposed to be like fully voice acted and like updated with it with a bunch of shit too. That's actually wild. But I guess to be yeah. fair, they could just y use like the engine and like a lot of the assets they made for the second game and just kind of repurpose them for the first one. Oh, absolutely. So that's not like mega crazy. Well, it's, like, wild that they're putting that effort into it. Mm hmm What in the world is a Mylodon? Okay. Uh, whatever this is. It, it's... It's like... It's like if a behemoth was tiny and also a yeti. Hey, look, there's a stronger one over here. Please don't make me fight a Mylodon. They really look like Legombi from up front. They really, really do. Hi, Legombi. Ow. Hello? What Target it. Fucking call me, you little... Oh, that's the wrong one. God damn it. I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, that one. That one. That one, I should have pressed true north, but I'll get that later. Whoops. That one. That one. That one. That one. And that one. I should have true north done that, but I'll get that in time. Whoop. Wait. That time I was too far over. I almost pressed four instead of three. Uh, -huh. uh. Surveying, surveying, surveying. Oh. Hello. Oh yeah, it. I get to deal four damage with my melee attacks. Why are you melee attacking this thing? Because I want you to do your shit, so that way you can remember how to play the game. What does that pattern on its back remind me of? There's a lot of things that remind me of other things in this game now. I don't know why. I think it reminds me of something from Fossil Fighters. I should replay Fossil Fighters at some point. It was a good game. I should really play that too. 
So mm. That sounds like that'd be fun. The techniques you employ differ not from mine, yet you overcome the enemy with such ease. What is it that separates us so? What is it that you're doing that I am not? Um, I'm used to it. I'm blessed by Midgard Summer. <laughs> Did I hear you rightly? You see no difference between a lance work, but the course of considering this, you conceived a new technique? Yes, I can battle litany. Yay! Woohoo! Where the hell do I put this? Um, I guess eight. So that's gonna be my back middle. Hey, you! Litany! You have a two minute buff now. It's a two minute, but that's a that's a, that's a two minute cooldown. Okay, you said two minute buff. That's an eleven second buff. It's a fifteen second buff. Well, when I looked at it, it said eleven. So be nice to me. I know. I'm correcting you on the length of it, though. QCN wants a more marvelous technique you can have conceived. A way to draw out your comrade's strengths. Such an approach had never occurred to me. A small wonder, perhaps, for we dragoons are taught to be uh, relentless in offense in order to bring down dragons. We strive to jump higher and strike harder. But in my single-minded pursuit of what I believe to be perfection, it would seem I ended up fighting only with my lance. So focused was I upon delivering that next blow, I rendered myself blind to other possibilities. You have opened my eyes, Lucia. Uh, if I am to transcend my limits, tis plain I must cast aside my preconceptions. Ah, but the hour grows late. I must needs uh, return to the congregation. Would you care to accompany me? It may interest you to see how your fellow dragoons live. Sure. I actually didn't think about that. There is like a, a dragoon house. Internet. Uh, I didn't attune to the Forgotten Night Aetherite. I didn't attend to the Broom Aetherite either. God damn it. Well, you'll get plenty of chances to do that. Yeah, like right, like right fucking now. Hmm. Uh, and then the Tribunal is where you'll go to unlock Dark Knight stuff. What's a Tribunal? Uh, it's where trials I thought, happen. I thought that a Tribunal was the trial. Well, it's also as you it's also as you now know, uh, where trials happen. That's a courthouse. Welcome to the home of the dragoons. I had mind to show you the premises, but my father has paid me a, a sudden visit. This is my father, Mont Montorgains. Father, allow me to present you my mentor, the Azure Dragoon Lucia. It is an honor and a pleasure both to make your uh. "'Tis an honor and a pleasure both to make your acquaintance. "'I hope you will forgive me for inconveniencing your plans, "'but what is a father to do? "'Dedicated to her duties as she is, "'my daughter scarcely comes home, and so I must go to her.'" He has an eye patch. He's a bad guy. Under that eye patch is a dragon eye. Ooh, spooky. Little did you know that he is, in fact, a lizard. <laughs> it was me, Dio. <laughs> It was it was me, Nidhog. The whole time. <laughs> Rather please, <laughs> I'm so good about this. But I strive to be a dragoon worthy of the name, as you yourself were. And that I uh and that I do, I do to honor you. My child, it would honor uh or, you would honor me best by taking care of yourself. Well I shan't overstay my welcome. Seeing you hail and hearty is enough. Till next time. He's so kind to me, even though I share not his blood, like so, so many others. I was orphaned by the war. Um, I would have died long ago, cold and alone. He is not, uh, uh, had he not found me and taken me in. All that I have, I owe to him. T'was for no other reason, uh, than to, uh, than to honor my father that I followed in his footsteps and became a dragoon. But if I'm to live up to his legacy, if I am to protect Ishgard as he once did, I must needs grow stronger. And I will. Under your sage guidance, I shall look forward to our lessons to come. Ah, it slipped my mind. Uh, Sir Albert wished a word with you. Pray seek him out in the observatorium at your earliest convenience. Uh, perhaps after you have had a wander inside the congregation.
what'd you say was the Dark Knight place? The 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 tribunal. The 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 courthouse, yeah. Yeah, the courthouse. Oh I fight the uh I fight the the demon of uh the demon of gluttony in here. Is that what it's called? Uh, gluttonous maybe? demon. No, covetous demon. I could have swore I was I was gluttonous or something. Okay, I fight I fight the covetous demon or I fight the covetous demon in this in this room, except for the staircases on the other side. You know, it's like actually literally exactly that room. Huh. Wild, except for it's stone instead of wood, but you know. Mm -hmm. Line up again. Uh, wait, the observatorium's down in Corthus. Yeah. So where's the Dark Knight thing? <laughs> uh, it's in Ishgard. It's in, okay. It's in Ishgard. Where? Where? Uh, by the tribunal. Uh, that um, doesn't help Aether me in any way. By the tribunal Aetherite shard. I don't know if that helps me either, I'll be honest. Uh, you'll see a blue quest marker. Hey, if my, hey, if my chocobo's not black, how come I can fly? Um, don't worry about it. Actually, technically, it is a black mage. Uh, for what it's worth, there is a side quest that you can do in Heaven's Word that just like, yeah, we're just gonna admit that you're a base chocobo fly. Because uh, at one point in time, uh, the actual, like, being a, um, being a, what can I say, English? Um, you could try to speak Spanish, but I don't think you know it. Why can't I language? <laughs> uh, oh. At uh, one point in time, uh, mounts, not all mounts could fly. Oh. So, that makes yeah, sense, we're just I guess. Industrial and then flight mounts. But then at, at some point, they were just like, why the fuck are we doing this? Everything could fly. So, it's really funny seeing a behemoth fly. It would be really funny if, uh, you know, the eight person whale? Mm hmm. It would be really funny if, if that was one of the ones that couldn't fly. <laughs> it just it just like slides along the ground. It wouldn't make any fucking sense because in four that's the that's the ship you use to go to the moon. <laughs> well yeah, we're not on the moon. Yeah, but it's also a flying ship. Well yeah, it flies on the moon because there's low gravity. Uh -oh. It flies on the planet too. Shh my thanks for coming, Lucy. It is no urgent matter, but I, I was wondering about about uh Houston's progress. Tell me, how fair is our training? Well, she got her ass kicked by some dragons. If anything, I've learned more about and save I'm training her than she's learned from me. I she was so bad that I learned a new skill to make her better. <laughs> so you have met her father. It, um in his day in his day, Montergains was a dragoon of no small renown. He served Ishgard with valor until he took a grievous wound and was forced to hang up his lance. Um as Houston herself told you, uh, she follows in her father's footsteps from the first. She exhibited tremendous potential. In all ways, she, is a Stini she was a Stinian's equal, and the rivalry they shared uh, raised both of them higher. Alas, the I chose a Stinian and not her. Since then, she has taken to training with fervor which borders on self-punishment. Uh, it is well to serve, uh, to strive for greater heights, but a dragoon must never lose sight of his conviction. It is the only thing that shields us from the dragon's wiles. So I beg you, Watch over Houston. By your shining example, see to it that she never forgets what it means to be a dragoon. Sure. And then sword upon lance. Blood of the dragon. Increases the Oh, it just increases my potency for jump and spine shatter. Alright, you want a fun uh, history lesson with that? Sure. So Blood of the Dragon used to not be a passive. It used to be an active buff that you had to maintain. Uh, every 20 seconds at this level. And then later on in Shadowbringers, it would last for 30 seconds. 
And while you had that passive buff on, you would, um, you would re you you would get that that increased potency to spine shatter dive, and, um, and jump. Up while you uh while you had that on, however, because Shadowbringers fights were designed how they were is the polite way I'm going to say it. Uh, you may want to turn off display log message for that. <laughs> what does that do? It just stops showing the. You do you do your remote towards this player. <laughs> nah, I don't care. <laughs> I do not care enough. Mm -hmm. Um, but so because Shadowbringers fights were designed how they were, you lost the buff any time there was a phase transition. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. So it was. So eventually, so just in Endwalker, it just became a passive. You're so goddamn tall now. <laughs> I know, and I love it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it should be a passive. That's how the other classes work when they get buffs like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like, fucking this class's whole shtick with Greased Lightning used to have be an active ability that had... The only difference is that it actively fucked over Monk more when you lost your stacks of Greased Lightning. Monk was a, was a time. Monk was an interesting, interesting time before they just said, okay. what if we just make Grease Lightning a passive in, in Shadow Rares? Tribunal. Okay, I'll go to this one. I don't see a marker, a marker for a Dark Knight quest. Does it not happen yet? Um... So, oh, no, so, you, sometimes you, markers don't show up until I get close to them. I just... It... Okay, wait, check your map now. I mean, I still need to get... You're in the area. I mean, I still need to get to the tribunal anyways, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. Dark Spectacle. Yep, that's it. And then this will even bring you over to the broom, so you can get the... The Forgotten Knight and the Broom Aetherites. Sir, I say this with the greatest of respect and all the love in my heart. Get a better hat. <laughs> no, this is my hat. After witnessing a spectacle like that, everyday life seems rather dull in comparison. Mm -hmm. So you didn't see that trial earlier? Ah, your loss. Fury take me, the way that heretic swung that slab of irony called a sword was a sight to behold. He couldn't have carried a shield if he wanted to, the blade was so big. I had to keep two hands on it at all times. I was amazed he managed to keep up with that Temple Knight for as long as he did. Sir, is it the first time you've heard of a two-handed sword? Yes. Like, I get that the swords in this world are uh, have up until this point all generally been, like, one-handed swords. But, like, two-handed swords are a, th a thing. Like, a normal long sword. Like, listen. I get that... I get that the Dark Knight uses like a like a crazy big great sword, but like long swords exist. It's but but more often than not, a long sword is used in combination with a shield. You really you then kind of shouldn't sometimes. You shouldn't, but alas, here we are. Like, I mean, like, like there's a uh, reason yes, a long sword is called a hand and a half sword, yeah, as opposed really to that, as opposed to that thing. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to a fucking Zweihander. That's 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 bigger than either of those things. Yes, it's a hunk of iron. <laughs> that thing is so. That thing is so thick that, that that weighs as much as you do. Yes, and it's why it's the best fucking. Actually, I don't know if it's the best one of the Heaven's Word relic weapons. Well, like a demon the from the deepest pits of the seventh hell, bellowing threats and work and working his arts. I wasn't sure what to make of it at first. But then I heard someone say he must be a dark knight. But, but, but you didn't hear that from me. Uh, in fact, I'm sure I don't know anything about it. I've never seen Batman. <laughs> Batman's really not a knight. He's really not. Ye gods, are you mad? We're standing outside the bloody tribunal. Fine, fine, but keep quiet and listen well, because I only say that I'm only going to say this once. I. Okay, say it. <laughs> The soul of the dark man. Our, our end. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's a, that's kind of dramatic for getting a class. Yep. 
So as I was saying, that heretic was fighting like a man possessed. Even after he took several wounds, he showed no sign of pain, even though there was no mistaking the blood. As the fight wore on, it began to soak through his armor, spreading into every ilm of his body. When it began to rise and envelop him in a mist, I realized it wasn't blood, but something dark and twisted. Uh, but the righteous were not so easily cowed. Alone be praised, I screamed myself hoarse when that Temple Knight slipped past his guard and ran him through. For written, I say, man was, not, man was not meant to wield such arts. Yet I wonder, is he truly one of those... those... Well, it matters not. I, I heard the Temple Knights uh, talking of dumping his corpse in the broom. Uh, by sunrise, it'll be str it'll be stripped bare and tossed over the walls. It'll be as though he was never here. Or it'll be as though he never was. Um, and as though we never ha had this conversation. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go down there and he's gonna be, like, alive, right? Probably, yeah. Wait, can I- if I'm just here, can I- No, I need- I need to go into the Aetherite menu to do it. Um, I don't have the Forgotten Knight or the Broom. Fuck. Nope. I'm, I'm a failure. I shouldn't be alive. <laughs> <laughs> they really just dumped his body like over there. Yep. Are is the shard okay? Nope. That's probably like a really dumb question to ask, but I feel like this is a new, this is a new layer being peeled back of the are they okay front. Is that a real short answer? Oh fuck no, they're not. <laughs> this one. This is a, this is a, a city state that has been at war for at a, in a war of survival for literally three, a mill, for literally a thousand years. You were about to say a millennia, and I was going to laugh at you. I was about to say a millennia, a thousand years. Nice job, Yugimoto. Yep. Punk, punctilious Temple Knight. Sir? That's, that's more than, wait, that's more than far enough for charity. Uh, they'll take care of the rest. And mayhaps sooner rather than later. Come on. I'll be honest, he has like a really basic sword. He does. Hey, I know what this is. Is this it? Is this all that awaits? No, no more. Enough. In your eyes, look, do you see now? Do you see? Lucia. Lucia! I'm sure that's fine. It's fine. Oh, hello. I've been waiting for you to open your eyes. You all right? You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Name's Frey, by the way. I'm no, and no, I'm not a heretic. Try convincing a temple knight drunk on authority of that, eh? Shame the pompous horse got the better of me. How about you? You touched it, yes? Couldn't have felt good. A voice, eh? And a rather distressed one besides. Please, someone! Anyone! Jeez. That is a big, big goddamn sword. It's a big fucking sword. See, the thing is, it's really funny because th they very much just took what a claymore looks like and just made it bigger and wider. As they should. Not so fast. We need to talk about what's happening to you. 
What's growing within you before you get carried away? There's darkness within all of us. Nothing dangerous, mind. In fact, it's quite healthy. But the crystal changes you. Gives you the power to channel it. Frey, I must say, like, just before we go into this, I am already a black mage. <laughs> Good. That makes this easier. Yes, it does. <laughs> In fact, I think I might know more about this than you do. <laughs> do it without proper training, however, and, well, it might hurt. Yo, that's a cool trick. Can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. Ask me to teach you. Ask me to instruct you in the ways of Dark Knights, and I will. I'll be honest, dude. You're kind of creepy, so I'm just going to go help whoever that was. We just kind of... Okay. I. <laughs> this is interesting because I... somebody just asked for help, and then the quest ended. So that person is just over there. <laughs> And it's just like, I guess if I want to help them, I have to talk to Frey. <laughs> yeah, I, you know. I know. <laughs> there it is. I know you're still worried about that screaming woman, so I'll keep this brief. We Dark Knights don't care one whit for prestige or pedigree. We are free to follow our hearts, to defend the weak and punish the guilty as we see fit. The law of the land, the authority of a name, those are tools cowards use to escape harm. We have no... Uh, we have no meat. We have no need of shields, figurative or literal. Here, my blade is your blade. My soul crystal, your crystal. Go on, take them. You'll need them soon enough. Yo, this guy's sick. I like him. He's great. So, uh, also fun, uh, fun writer knowledge. Uh, person who wrote the Dark Knight quest line. Same person who wrote the Crystal Alliance questline and the Road questline. Hmm. I, uh... Okay. Um, sort... Uh... We're gonna wanna do some inventory cleaning at some point. Uh... Okay, I don't need the Howling Talons. I don't need the Toadskin Sesti. I don't need the unbreakable knuckles. Why do I have so many pugilist arms? No. I don't need the steel claws. Um, the shadow bow I wanted to turn into a uh, thingy. I don't need the shell sp shell. Sp Where did I get a shell splitter? Good question. Brass bastard sword. Why do I have that? I just cleaned this out not too long ago. Not too long ago was probably several months ago, if we're going to be honest. Well, yes, but since then, I, sh I, I didn't randomly generate items while I wasn't playing. <laughs> uh, Longstone long Grimoire? Ryo's Grimoire? I don't need the Pupil's Book of Brass, definitely. Okay, that's good enough for now. Insufficient... Wait... I think it's also for your armor, too. What? Pants? Oh. And oh. Your pants are full. I see. And you're, that's it. Like, if you're, like, one off. Man or Gaskins. Just, like, yeah. Hooray. You did it. You're a Dark Knight now. Yay. Uh, why do I. You know what? I'll, I'll 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 take this outfit for this. <laughs> I'm I'm very okay with this. <laughs> Why? Wait, this is that means that this is my this is my monk set that I'm currently yeah. equipped. Okay, sure. That would actually make a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. Who, who needs to be a, who needs to be a maid with a big sword? You could be a common rider with a big sword. God, this stuff is messed up. What happened to all this? I guess my sunstone earrings are equipped on like seven different classes, so that makes sense. Yeah. My brand yeah, new okay. ring. <laughs> My level one brand new ring is still getting so much use. You know, you could also click the repair all option. That's a... You... I... I love you so much, so dearly. You're my best friend in the world. You can also do... Th you can also, like, scroll through the stuff that you don't have equipped. And also do repair all for all of them. 
Yeah. Stuff that's just in, like your inventory and armory chests. All right. Uh, which? Okay. Oh wait, and uh, why do, do this? I that to there. Watch out for that, and onto that. Aha! I'm a real dark knight now. Hey Frey, what do you think? <laughs> Honestly, I've seen stranger. He he said I can do. He said I can do things however I want. And I am I am taking taking that to heart. Okay, move the bl blood gauge up here. I really don't know why it spawns in the middle of your screen. Uh, because it's just how it is. Long story short, you don't need to worry about the blood gauge for thirty. Okay, two more levels. <laughs> hard slash delivers an attack with a potency of one one fifty. That's my basic attack. Yeah, hard slash siphon strike siphon soul strike. eater. That's your one two three combo. Okay, I'm gonna move unleash up here for a second. There's rampart. There's interject. Grit is my um, it is my enmity thingy. Yeah. Low blow. Unmend. Interesting. Provoke. Soul eater. Siphon strike. Restores own HP. I'm a drain tank. Kind of. I. Sort of. I. I mean, I am. You are. Yeah. Okay. Four. Five. Four. Hold on, wait. Five. Can you... It is really funny Provoke. seeing you with the maid dress and then just the armored boots. <laughs> yeah. That's just really funny to me. Um. Provoke. Where was interject? Uh, middle of the second row. <laughs> well, that's that's a concern. Arm's length was... Wait, where was arm's length for... You. Okay, arm's length is supposed to be six. So Paladin was wrong. Okay, interject is the... It, it interject is five. I, I want to keep these kind of similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, my okay, defiance and iron will are on zero, so that's correct. Okay, unmend deals unaspected damage with a potency of one fifty, inc increases my enmity. So that's, that's just what's just your ranged attack? It's a ranged attack. Yeah, that's your uh, shield toss or your axe throw. Okay, yeah, so that's a little back. Okay, and then my AoE. Yo, that's cool. It's a real. Yo, I hold my weapon like a... <laughs> that's... Okay, sure. So the thing I love about that is that it's like an actual kind of defensive stance. Yeah, it is. You want to see the second hit of your AoE? Sure. I didn't see anything. Oh, that's probably because you have... You're just sticking your hand up. I guess that's probably because you just have effects turned off. I, I just shouldn't. That. I very specifically left them on. Hmm. Uh, system configuration? Uh, character config. Oh, it's, it's character car configuration. It's, it's a character config. Uh, and then it's under the character menu. Show... Oh, they're on show limited. Yeah, that's where you want it to be, because otherwise you're just going to be blinded a lot of the time. Nah, I like being blinded. What's okay, others? Ex exclu excluding PvP? Like, non-party members. You know what? Show me everybody, I don't care. Oh, okay, God. do the thing. I had it set on this for a while, I don't know why it got switched off. Oh, that's cool. That's not blinding at all when you cast it in my face. <laughs> that's not... <laughs> that's... I'll be honest, that one's almost, almost worse than Holy. Yes. <laughs> Especially because it comes so out want, so fast. You want another fun fact? Yeah. Well, so, uh, 
You want to know when you got your second hit of your AoE as a Dark Knight and Shadowbringers? Yeah. Level 70 fucking four. Everybody else got theirs at level 40. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, also, another fun fact. What a uh, Unleash, Stalwart Soul, the second hit of your AoE, and Unmend are all considered spells. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're a spell tank. Kind of, yeah. It just, it's really funny because, for instance, my- You're a magic my, drain tank, that's what Dark Knight is. That's the idea behind it, but it also kind of lost that identity pretty seriously. No, nope, that's the idea it has right now, and I'm sticking with it forever. I'm okay with that. Anyways, Frey, what do you want? Well, well, don't you look at that. <laughs> well, he's approved of me, so... Well, well, don't you look the part. Ready to harness the darkness uh, within to set the to set the wrong things right. Now bear in mind that while the darkness gives you strength, that strength comes at a cost. Uh, uh, that is but one sacrifice, though, and justice demands many. Say a man, a venerable, untouched man, harms a child in unspeakable ways. He strides through Hoplon, secure in knowledge that he is beyond punishment. Uh, but for one who cuts down... But for one who cuts down that vile, that vile beast as he flaunts his freedom, who knows how many others will suffer? Such was the dilemma faced uh, faced by a goodly knight long ago. He knew that he would uh, that he would be stripped of his titles and denounced for the deed. The threshold we refuse to cross is a line we draw for ourselves. We fear the consequences, and people suffer for our indecision. Everyone who held that crystal came to conquer that fear and became who they wanted to be. That knight was the first. Will you be the next? Think on that while we look into the commotion down below. Yo, I already like this guy. He's like awesome. Ray is pretty fucking cool. Fucking. Okay, I already have that one. Sir, why is your bow a fucking monster hunter lance? <laughs> what does that mean? The Titan bow looks like a goddamn monster hunter lance. Actually, wait, come to think of it. I never see. I think that my, uh, uh, change glamour plate, like, didn't I make a, because if my, oh yeah, I made one <laughs> without the pants because I liked the look of the armor legs because this is, because since this is technically my, <laughs> my tank vanity, I just have the dress so that I can still have, like, the, I can still have the, have the gauntlets and armored pants. Because it looks like I'm just wearing armor under the make dress. <laughs> it fits. I'd argue it. I'm gonna do that. I don't think it's gonna change because everything uh, just got overridden by the maid stuff, but I mean, it'll change later. Mm. Yeah, okay. You can see the effect on Warrior. I have the gloves and the legs, and it looks really cool. I look like Noel. You kind of do, yeah. By the way, how is, uh, how's Genshin going? I haven't played it in, like, a year. You're asking the wrong person. I have not touched that game ever since Candace came out. <laughs> oh, that's kind of near the last time I played it. That was, like, a year and a half ago, if not more. <laughs> I'll ask Blake. Please, I don't know what to do. It's it's my granddaughter. I didn't oh, see him standing uh, there. I know. Yeah. Apparently, the, the monochrome-haired character... Arlequino. That everybody, yeah, Arlequino. Apparently she's now a playable character as of this current patch. Yo, sweet. I should log in and throw a roll ladder <laughs> for the sake of it. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I have enough stocked up to give to give at least a roll. I wouldn't be too surprised. I didn't see him standing there, and I know that's no excuse. I should have been more careful. But my granddaughter, she started yelling at the Temple Knight. I tried to stop her. I did. But then he said, uh, <laughs> uh he said uh, she had to come with him, and uh, and if I could uh, just tell him how sorry I am, maybe, maybe he would. He'd take you too, is what he'd do. Even if you went and begged uh, the Blue Bastard to intervene, it'd be too late by then. The Blue Bastard. Ain't the first time uh, uh, they've taken a girl her age. If she doesn't fight back, they might let her go after. No, no, there has to be another way. Ah, uh, Shgardian Justice. I might spare the girl, you know, leave her with a few scars and a lifelong lesson. Or we could beat every last one of them within within an elm of their lives and rescue the girl. 
You'd like that, wouldn't you? I knew you would. Everything is going to be alright, madam. When I'm through with those knights, they'll dare not trouble you ever again. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yo, can I just hang out with Frey from now on? <laughs> can Frey just be my new, like, partner? It would be really goddamn nice to have him as, like, your partner for the rest of the time, huh? Assuming they didn't just drag her into an alley, they've taken her either to the congregation or the tribunal. The Honorable Sir Amrick, uh, wouldn't suffer such, uh, such reprehensible, uh, behavior under his roof. The Inquisition, on the other hand, well. So that leaves the tribunal. If the girl is still alive, I imagine they'll make all manner of threats. How many closer and she dies, and so forth. If so, we'll need to make something perfectly clear to them. Uh, we're not here for her, we're here for you. Once they understand she means nothing to us, they'll attack, they'll attack us or flee. I don't know about you, but I'm eager to find out which. We're not here, we're not here for the girl. We're here to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, the way to deal with hostages, like, things uh, apparently is basically to just ignore the hostages. <laughs> I'll take your word for that on the, on that. It's Not something that it's something like 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 uh hostages are are useless because because either 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 they oh what is it? They they can't do anything to them because if they kill them they lost their advantage and also they're in more trouble. <laughs> Mm. So like, like, like killing a hostage is is basically only actually bad for the person keeping the hostages. Um, just one sword between the two of us, I'm afraid. You keep it. I dare say it fits rather snugly in your hands. Uh, but don't worry about me. I'll do my part to keep you on your feet. Now, should things turn violent, as I expect they shall, uh, you may need to tap into your dark side to survive. It's not unlike drawing upon your own aether to weave magic. Fear not, or er, fear, pain, rage. That that which lies in the deepest depths of our soul uh, makes for a potent fuel. But be warned, burn too much too quickly and you risk being consumed. Do not worry, Lucia. The first step over the threshold is always the hardest. Ah, yes, I should have known you'd do that. Right then, let's find the girl. Break down there. And now you see why I left the party. Well, yeah, I, I figured I was going to have to kick somebody's teeth in. <laughs> I keep accidentally clicking on Midgard Stormer on my back. I am going to be the most minor inconvenience that you've ever had. Okay, guys, who's ready for me to spam an AoE? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, girl, you're only making it worse for yourself. Hells you, <laughs> the hell's with you? I've done nothing wrong. Uh, why are the pretty ones always so daft? I had to go for every time I had to kill an unrepentant bastard like you. What, what the? Are you threatening a temple knight? Oh, you're very clever. Yeah. Yes, I am. Now let her go. I, I, enough of this. With me, girl. Now, one more word of protest and I'll toss your grandmother in a cell to rot. You three, seize this imbecile. Time to go f f full guts. I just I just brace and swing once and they're all in two pieces. Oh. Hello. Hey, me. You guys suck. You guys suck. Oh wait, is my thing up? No, it isn't. Okay. I was gonna say, you got your stance on? I was, I was thinking about that. For some reason I thought that like, first time they'd just have it up by default. Ah, uh, they didn't. Nope. Ah. What? Wait, what? What kind of swing was that? Bring, bring, bring everyone! She's gone mad! Reinforcements? I have to even the odds. Push yourself for the darkness. You need the sliver. Yes. Let's see, Lucy, the flames beckon. Uh, what? Okay. 
Sure thing, buddy. Runs harder, so does your strength swell. Drink not too deep that the flames could less the flames consume you. Ow. Okay. Sure. You may notice that you are gaining magic vulnerability stacks. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me see. I did. That's an interesting swing arc. Oh yeah, for the for the like the, the single hit combo? Yeah. Single target combo. I swing in a like weird reverse grip. For the first one. Mm. And then okay, that's a pretty normal thing. And then Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I I like I like the, the basic one, two, three animation for Dark Knight, because the sword feels heavy. Like as you swing it. Give me darkness. Give me all the darkness. I want it. He didn't say there was like any danger of taking too much, right? He definitely did. No, it's fine. I'll just take all of them. I'm looking forward to you having to do this one again. <laughs> I have 76 darkness. Hello, ch 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 churgeon. Whatever that is. Healer. Chirurg oh, oh, like Chiron. Yeah. Ow. I'm assuming I have to keep keep my darkness up a certain amount. Have to, but it is a it is a good damage buff. Ow! It keeps hurting me. <laughs> well, yeah, that's kind of the point. <laughs> it keeps giving me down for the count too. Well, Ow! Because you're taking it with more than two magic vault stacks. Well, it's not my fault. I want darkness. <laughs> that is absolutely your fault. <laughs> hey, you bitch! Get over here. Hey, you. Kick you in the dick. Oh, wait, right. I have defensive cooldowns. <laughs> Indeed. It's almost like I'm a tank or something. Almost like you're a tank or something. Ooh, darkness. More. Gimme. <laughs> I want it. It's just your reaction. Ooh, darkness. Listen, I'm a black mage. I can deal with it. It's almost, it's a, you know. You're almost dead. Yeah, I'm fine. I know how to deal with my internal darkness. Do you? Uh, clearly, I won. Thank you. Would you kill his wife? Those of you who let live remember this. Rem those of you who let who yet live remember this horror, and know that should you speak of it, it shall be visited upon you again a hundredfold. <laughs> Frey. Are you seeing anyone? I think so. <laughs> okay, she's this way. I don't know what to say, miss. Thank you, thank you. I I got a little carried away earlier. It's just that when I saw how you, uh, just when I saw how they were treating uh, my grandmother, I had to say something and. 
No one screamed your name. My grandmother called out just the once, but that was it. Speaking of which, I should hurry back. I suppose I ought to say I'm sorry for what I did, but I'm not. Those knights had it coming. Uh, Helone, bless you for what you did. Frey's got the edgy, looking away, arm crossed, down pat. <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Strange, maybe, but a good strange, I'd wager. You tapped into something primal, a power nestled within you, yearning to be free. As your understanding of this power grows, so too will your skill as a Dark Knight. You have done well, far better than I could have hoped, in fact. There is still so much more to learn, so much further to go. I won't lie to you, Lucia, the risks will only increase, so if you want to keep going, you have to trust in me. Can you do that? Uh, that duh. Dude, you're my favorite guy I've met. <laughs> Good, that's a promise. Circumstances being what they are, it might be best if we parted ways for a while. Think of it as an opportunity to hone your skills in my absence. But don't worry, we will meet again. When the time is right, I'll be waiting where we first met. Flood of Darkness! Yeah, I, I think I'm just turning into Riku. You kind of are. Except for Riku doesn't use a greatsword. I, I'm trying to think, has there ever been a, been a Keyblade greatsword? Like, I guess technically the Ultima weapons are basically great swords, but Sora doesn't use them any differently. I was gonna say, I guess technically, but not really. Doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, Xehanort's Nameless, isn't that like a great sword, basically? Oh, fuck if I know. It's like Maybe. a really big, it's a really big keyblade. Yeah, but I don't think they ever use it like, like a great sword. To be fair, Xehanort kind of, he's like, He's like 600 years old. I, I He doesn't really swing a weapon. I mean, yeah, but you know. Uh, I'm actually trying to think. I, I can remember... I'm sure he's done it like a decent amount of times. Especially, I think, in Birth by Sleep. I think he had a fight scene. But um, as of like Kingdom Hearts 3, I can recall him swinging it like once. I would not be surprised if he's only swung it that many times. But yeah, that's the... That's the start of the the Dark Knight. Uh, so far that's my favorite quest line. Uh, you'll get one new one every Dark side five gauge unlocks. This timer indicates the duration of Dark Side, which increases damage dealt using Flood of Darkness or Edge of Darkness. Where at level forty grants Dark Side. Um, well, I'm not level forty yet, so. Indeed. Okay, what what in the world is this Flood of Darkness? Deals unaspected damage with a potency of 100 to all enemies in a straight line before you. Grants, well, it grants dark side. Yep, this is level 30, 30 you fool. You they lied to me. Seconds. Yes, but that's, yeah, but then Edge of Shadow, or Edge of Darkness, is at, is your single target version of it. So it's a line, a, so it's a line AoE that gives me a 10% damage buff. Yep. That I, this is a tank I can get behind. <laughs> it is. Genuinely, I think it is a very buttons tank. Um, like, the, the, like, you will get so many off global cooldown buttons to hit, but like, it is a very fun buttons tank that genuinely is enjoyable. You may also notice that little 3000 next to uh, Edge of Shadow. Yeah, I, I use mana. Welcome to the only other tank in the game that uses mana that isn't named Paladin. Congratulations, you're one of two melee characters that uses your mana gauge. <laughs> Does any other tank have a line AoE like that? Because the only thing I can think of is, uh, what is it? What is Dragoon's thing? Doomspike? Doom Spike? Yeah, Doomspike's yeah. the only thing I can think of like that. Uh, no, not anymore, because, um... Warrior had probably the closest thing to it, but that was a cone AoE does, rather than a line. Does Dark Knight get a third hit to the AoE combo? No. Every tank only has a one and a two. Okay, so I'm putting that on three. I'm putting uh, that where however, three would go. I, I guess actually I, I have technically lied to you. And you as get, always. You know, uh, you'll get a third action that is an AoE action for a gauge that you can spend on. But, uh, you won't get that to level 64, so don't worry too much about it. I'm gonna keep Flood of Darkness on the 3 slot, and then later, 
I might move dark side stuff to my control alt, um, to my control alt set. Because that one's annoying to, like, the control alt keys are annoying to press, but I have to use them. Because, <laughs> like, especially for, I think, warrior. Yeah, warrior I put all the, uh, all the beast gauge stuff on. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, yeah, you could put flood of shadow where you have decimate. Decimate. What? Wait, what are you talking about? Or steel cyclone. It upgrades to decimate at some point in time. Say again? Wait. In Warrior. Uh, yeah, in Warrior. You could oh. put Flood of Shadow where Steel Cyclone is. Eh. If you um, wanted to do that. How much stuff uses the... Uh... The dark side stuff um one ability that you get at level 90 and it is an off global cooldown that you get two charges of that you can that you just use when you have dark side okay i so literally nothing <laughs> okay but like flood of darkness quote unquote uses dark side i mean stuff related to dark side one ability flood of darkness yes one ability that like that like that you get one action that requires you to have dark That's, side okay, for okay. you to use it. Listen to the words I'm saying. Okay. I am. Not things that use dark side, anything related to the dark side mechanic at all. Yeah, just your level ninety ability. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> Flood of Darkness, the ability I got at 30, is one of yes. them. <laughs> um, Edge of Darkness, that you'll get at 40, is the only other one. Okay, thank you! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, so, so the way I was interpreting that... That's, that that's why I kept was... saying it the other way. <laughs> the, the, it just, the way it sounded was just like, it just felt like you were saying, like... <laughs> Are there any actions that take place while I have dark sight? Oh, no, that's that's, that's why. <laughs> Multiple times I specifically said, no, not that thing you said. Anything related to dark sight in any way at all. And you kept assuming that I meant to ask to have dark sight on. <laughs> Look, I'm stupid. <laughs> I love you so much. Anyways, I'm gonna leave dark. I'm gonna leave flood of darkness right here, and I might move it over to here later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we need to end. <laughs> hey, look! I have stuff. In, I have more stuff in Corthus. <laughs> You're gonna go away in shame now. <laughs> I'm going to the gold saucer. Get the hell over here. Wait, no, actually, actually, we're uh. We're in heaven's word. I'm gonna go back to the foundation. Oh no, I'm trapped in the gold saucer loading. Save me. <laughs> uh, I cannot save you from that, unfortunately. Cause like we usually end in uh in front of uh, the wall on the gold saucer that's like that bright color, but actually mm -hmm. since we're in heaven's word, we should we should end looking over Ishgard. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should end, end in a new area. Oh, somebody just returned to Ishgard, and that reminded me, you should set your new return point to Ishgard. Why? Uh, because you're going to be coming back here a lot throughout my, Heaven's Word. And just... My return point is, is Gridania. Yes, set it to Ishgard. Just trust me on this. My return point's Gridania. Set it to Ishgard. Trust me. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, actually. Um, what do you think's the best backdrop? Actually, maybe up on the maybe up on the hoplon. Uh, oh. So it looks like Anor Londo in the background. I'm I'm okay with this. Last vigil. Over by, over by the cathedral or. Last vigil. Okay. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we're in Anor Londo. 
Oh, I need to practice my dodge rolling then. Uh, I really. Me. Yeah, I can't do that. I, I don't have a dodge roll. I mean, you you have dragoon. I do, but you know this class. <laughs> it would be really funny if Dark Knight had a dodge like that. It would be really, um, really funny, okay. funny. You know how Dark Knight should have a dodge like that. How? They should have, they should have an attack where they like channel like a, a, an insane amount of dark energy into their hand and like blast punch an AOE in front of them and the shockwave from it sends them skidding back. Be pretty fucking cool though. I'm gonna be real honest with you. That would be a really cool like dodge mechanic. It's it like, be. oh hey, the, the the boss is doing an AOE in front of it. Fucking blast it. <laughs> fucking annihilate it. You're, you're, you get out you get out of the AoE that's focused on itself. I would I would be so down for that if only to give Dark Knight more of a difference for itself from Warrior. Uh so far they're very different. They are, but and like and like in in the finer details and like as you level up and get stuff and get more stuff, um they slowly become very similar. Not very similar, but similar. It's not like Warrior's a drink Hank. Uh-huh. You're right, it's a self-heal. It's a self-heal bond. It doesn't need to actually need well, I mean, to better than Dark Knight does because for intuition he heals you every time you attack things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um you're I also hate how much bigger your sword is because you're Vera. That that's the that that's the real buff of being. It, it does actually scale up with you slightly, I think. Is that all all your weapons and all your mounts? actually increase or decrease in size based on how big your character is. That's really funny. Okay, anyways, um, that was a fun uh, return to streaming. I'm gonna tr try to keep relatively consistent in streaming from now on again, um, now that I'm feeling better and now that I have uh, some more time off and I'm not as exhausted from work because I can actually sleep in on most days that I work now. So, uh, yeah. I, know. I, I only have to go in at 10 now. Um, so I don't have to wake up at 8. Or I don't have to wake up at 7 to get in at 8. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you the next time I stream. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Uh...